And greetings! I am Resplendent Seraph. Today, we're going to be playing some Mech Warrior 5. Don't mind my feline co host. She is in the background playing with her toy, so you may hear a little bit of a squeaking <laughs> as it goes on. Uh, at least today. Hey! No! 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 Leave that be! No! Cleo! Ah! As soon as the squeaking stopped, I knew. Take two. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that, that cements it. I've got to move my computer. She, uh, my cat has decided that the wires coming out of my computer have, uh, there, there's something for her to like play with and, and like chomp, chew on. So yeah, I've got to, I've clearly got to do something about that now. I had removed the, the Velcro of it, but clearly that wasn't enough. So greetings. Let's try this again. I'm Resplendent Seraph. I'm not crazy, I promise. <laughs> Although my feline co-host does instigate chaos, as we just have observed from the very, very start. Oh my goodness. I love that cat, but goddamn. Oh my god, that cat, that cat. She was on the patio all this morning chasing this lizard that she had chased into my hurricane shutters, and she was just having a ball hovering over those hurricane shutters, waiting for that lizard to emerge. That poor traumatized thing. I'm hoping that now that I'm streaming and the cat is inside, that it will find its way to freedom. <laughs> the joys of a cat owner. Oh my God. So we're going to play Mech Warrior. Hopefully the Legend of the Kestrel Lancers DLC will go better than the beginning of this stream is gone. Let's, let's just try to get into this, shall we? Oh my god. All right, so in game, let's fire this up. And uh as we get started with things here, I'll do a quick recap. So last time we did adventure a little bit when we were doing our audible from E6, which I did finally get working. Well, the emulated version anyway. I still can't get the Steam version to work. You know, the one I paid for. Well, I paid for the PS2 version. I just don't have a PS2 anymore, nor my copy of that game because I lent it to a friend. Then I rebought it on Steam thinking, hey, this will work. No, no, it didn't. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. This actually isn't where we are. Normally I do new saves, but at the end of last stream, we were a little tired. But let's take a look and see what we got going on. So we're at a location. Let's see. I think we already started our repairs. Yes, we did. We did recover. Wow, this Warhammer. Oh, this is my Warhammer that got completely fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, we'll want to repair that at some juncture. It's going to be expensive to repair. But we're still in a good place money-wise. We're still overall trending up. That's important. And we did get a Marauder last stream. That was good. We got our Agincourt back. Although, boy, did that get roughed up. Oh, right, because I switched mechs and then it got cored again. Oh my god, it got cored again. Wait. I am in the right place, right? I think I'm in the right place. Right, so let's go... Let's just go to Atreus. Yeah, February 30, 28. Good. We're, we're going to get Legend of the Kestrel Lancers pretty soon. You know what? Let's... That's going to be the same amount of days. Let's go to the place that has the cantina in it. Okay, so we got our Orion, we got our awesome repaired. <sighs> That's right, last last stream we really continued to take a bunch on the chin. I was telling um a friend of mine about this particular playthrough. And my, <laughs> my god, it has been a very interesting playthrough of uh of this. Yeah, it's not gonna give us that. But I'm not that surprised about the cantina there. So collect eight machine gun tier fours. I don't think we've got that. We could try for this. Free world's interior. Let's see, is this the free world's interior? Yeah, it is a free world's interior. Perfect. So we'll do we'll do that one. Let's get rid of the objective log we can't do. Which most likely is going to be this. Although that would have been nice. But, you know, good grief. Um, yeah, that's at least possible. Actually, Mac Market. No, no cicada there. That's annoying. It would have been nice if we could have completed one of those objective logs. 
So, uh, actually, I haven't even done any of those, but we will we'll see demolisher units. That is not a problem. We're also well on our way to completing that. I think we even have a cicada, but we don't have any of these, so let's just abandon this one. All right, let's go into the cantina now. We'll collect this, because we'll be able to do that. So we'll accept that one. Let's take a look here. Okay. What will it take to repair this fucking thing? Wow, we actually have all the replacement parts. It's just going to take almost a million sea bills and 77 days. <laughs> God. Yeah, it's fine. Do it. Repair that or hammer. This is already in the process of being repaired. Jeez, so we must have started this repair process beforehand, uh, before even getting here. My goodness. Uh, we've got, actually, we're about 12 days away from getting our Agincourt back. Hello there. Hey, Darkstar. Greetings, my friend. How are you doing on this beautiful Florida, South Florida day? It actually is a beautiful day outside. Um, <laughs> so we're playing Mech Warrior. I was actually in the mood for Mech Warrior today. Uh, I was debating whether or not I was going to play East or if I was going to play this. And I decided to, uh, I decided to play this. But how are you doing, my friend? One of these days we're going to have to get together for pancakes. I keep threatening to do that with Kara and uh, and Freakbot. We should also get we should also get robbed too while I'm thinking about it. Um, that would be badass. <laughs> if nothing else, you know, a little bit of a mini mini Twitch meetup. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. Okay, I don't have anything in here. Oh God, stop the launch! This one is hard as balls, but the reward for it is is really awesome. Hello, cat. Oh, there's my chaos. Gremlin. Hi, kitty. Here. Come here. Cat. Over here. Keep that in here. Over there. Okay. I'm just going to trust her to be good over there. So, okay, let's let's read this really quick. Retired General Lionel Stance used to be a respected member of the Steiner High Command, despite his father, fiery temperament. Uh, lately, however, he's been expressing his vehement opposition to House Steiner's alliance with House Davian and the signing of the Fedcom Accords. Stance is now leading a local militia hell-bent on sowing seeds of discord and war in his system. In this system, rather. All under the rallying cry of independence for the people of Sky. Our intel suggests that he is in possession of a rare nuclear device known as the Peacemaker. To further complicate things, we suspect he still has supporters inside Liren Command and may be aware of our every move. That's why we need you to intervene. Now, mind you, I have not done that one uh, without getting at least one mech of mine cord in any playthrough. That that mission is always just such an unmitigated shit show. <laughs> it's glorious. But at least the payoff is worth it. That mech is amazing. So beautiful is relative to where on 441 you live up here. It's been more annoying than beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, over over by uh, Palmetto, where where I'm at, it's it's pretty nice. I had a sudden storm a few hours ago, led to multiple brown. Wow, really? That's crazy. And meanwhile, I haven't seen a drop. But you're a little more north of, my, of me, and I don't have a good view of the north. So yeah, it must have just blown right by me. These pancakes you speak of only sweetens the deal, right, Ghosty? <laughs> hey, feel free to hop on a plane. You're more than welcome to join us. <laughs> Yeah, you're just just a little west, <laughs> just just a little bit. Yeah, you know, just a few, just a few time zones. But if it helps seal the deal, I do have guest bedroom that's never ever used. So you know, anybody that ever wanted to visit me would never have to worry about a hotel. All right, I don't really see anything here. We've got our mechs are going to be up online pretty quickly. So I think having gone here. And checked that out. We've at least secured our Warhammer repair. Let's go to Fatuna, see if our possible job item is happens to be here. That would be nice. And we're gonna take our uh, our employer up on. Uh... So, I, before getting to what we're doing, mini recap. Last time we were doing a bunch of missions where we destroyed like a food processing plant. I think a water treatment center. And it turns out it was a corporate entity looking to destabilize the region, trying to sell some of their military hardware. So anyway, we had an inside whistleblower from inside uh, Quicksell that reached out to us like, hey, this is what's really going on. Your real employer is Quicksell, and uh, this is really hurting a lot of people in the region. I'm going to resign, but 
here's a job offer if you want to get some payback for this completely shitty behavior. And we were like, yes, yes, we will. So we're going to go and we're going to burn down their headquarters. <laughs> it's going to be glorious. So we're going to do a raid here. Where are we're going to go against that? So, yep, destroy the marked building on the local quick sell campus. This structure serves several administrative functions and a good portion of the company's manufactured inventory of military hardware is stored here before being shipped off world. I advise staying alert for corporate security forces on the premises. So they say raid instead of demolition. So I think we are just destroying a couple of buildings. So the usual, let's try to make at least 2 million. Let's take some damage coverage because that's not a bad idea. We'll do one airstrike support and yeah, we'll, we'll finish off the rest. Salvage shares. Let's see how this goes. I like this plan. When in doubt, just blow everything up, right? Oh, okay. So I'm going to go in the Agincourt. You're going to go in the Archer T. And we are ready to rumble here. <laughs> Fire made it good. <laughs> Let's do this, folks. Let's try. <laughs> We need to take out the key buildings on the Quicksell Corporation campus. As Mercs, we are supposed to take things so personally, but I can't help but feel scorned by Quicksell's duplicity. Either way, this is a great opportunity to do a little good here. Airstrike support has been granted, Commander. Approach the target area to call them in. Target. There's a strong likelihood we'll find one of our hidden assets on this mission. I've marked the possible location for it on your map. Ah, oh, they got it. Brilliant. Payload acquired. Perfect. Okay, so we got a couple Simpsons flaring home. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Right. Oh, I didn't even catch that. And I've seen that episode. So I haven't seen every episode of The Simpsons, but especially the early episodes. Be sure to take it apart. Yeah. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Oh, well, sure. Fine, since there's a treasure here. All right, fine. We'll blow this thing up first. Alpha 1-1, one, one. Sierra 2-1, reporting in. We are standing by, ready to deliver the payload. Over. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Having a hard time with this thing. There we go. Got it that time. Got another one. New target, Enforcer. Yeah, we're gonna lose target sighting on that. Ah, I lost it on that. Damn. Fuck. Got it that time. Come on, guys. Damn, this forcer. Panther's fucking me up. Jesus. Thank you. Oh my god. Oof. That panther was lighting me up. Something fierce, chat. <laughs> yeah, I am getting lit up. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Freakbot. That was, uh, bad. Alright. So we got that target. Let's get the... Let's backtrack now. We're gonna go north. Oh, fuck's sakes. What's that? Oh, it's our enforcer friend. Good kill, Commander. That mech is about to go critical. Why, thank you. That was a good kill. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Freakbot? I haven't seen it all either, but I remember a few moments. Yeah, the Flaming Mo is such an iconic episode. Yeah, especially early Simpsons. I, I tended to watch a bunch of those. Let's destroy that northern facility, and then let's go grab our cantina find. Oops. Let's clear that. So I got zapped last night thanks to a freak isolated storm. Wow. What? How did that show up? <laughs> oh! Uber crit! Ah, I missed it. Wow. Yeah, good shot. Nice shot. All right. My AI actually starting to pull their own weight here. 
spent running today my dish okay give me two seconds free fight i will get to that chat in a second we got a building here which means we got bogeys oh did the bogeys call come up for us maybe they all came up for us yeah here they are come on home in on that thank you where is our thank you ah Got it. Good, you already got it. Perfect. We got a turret. Thank you. All right, now we go deal with this building. Oh. Alright, where's our building? Damn. Oh, it's this thing. Let's just walk through it. <laughs> yeah, it was easier just to walk through it to neutralize it. Okay. Now, we head back up here. Okay. Spent today running my dishwasher, surface cleaning my house, and grinding XP in Mother 3. Everyone's now closing on on level 60. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Heaven's business now in Mother 3. <laughs> he means uh, that constant healing stuff for bosses is BS on any game. Yeah, that's always the worst. I hate bosses that heal. Got it. Perfect. Shot both down. Let's head up here. You know, I should have thought about adding jump jets to the Sajin Court. That's my fault. Okay, let's deal with that. Good. It's dead now. Let's move on over here. I'm tempted to just get Kumator to 60 and have her learn PK ground. I actually am not familiar with that side. That's a Mother 3 uh, exclusive Psy. Ah, Fuck's sake, set a turret. Nope, it's a tank. We gotta deal with it. See it in a second. Come on, thank you. Oh, fuck's sakes. <laughs> Fucking turrets. Oh my goodness. Alright. So far, we're. I'm the only one who's taken any kind of damage. Only because that enforcer sort of lit me up earlier. Generates an earthquake that hits for 2-3% of the enemies. Oh, wow. That is nice. Whoa, that is crazy. Ugh. Yeah, right now I can't actually run my dishwasher. Because... Yeah, you got it before I did. Uh, my... Um, Freaking, what the hell is it called? My disposal? I don't have an incinerator. I forget what brand it is. Some sort of cheap shit. But uh, it started leaking out of the bottom. So I'm like, well, I'm getting a new one. But unfortunately, the dishwasher connects to the plumbing at the garbage disposal. So I have to replace the garbage disposal before I can run my dishwasher. It's pretty annoying. Yeah. This might get a little annoying. That's, that is how I feel about it. <laughs> hey, Phoenix. How are you doing, buddy? Ah. Where's that tank? There you are. Took care of that. And my parents a bit wanted to see what's what online. Yeah, well, greetings. Always a pleasure to chat with you. I hear the VTOL. Where is it? Fuck. Deal with that Vindicator. I thought I was out of sight, line of sight to it. So I thought it was safe to sit there for a second. I was very wrong. Now let's proceed on course for this. We've got this. Oh, fuck's sakes. Good. One of you got it. it. Must be nearby. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. All right. Nice to have some extra ballistics. Tango smoked. Ah. So now we're probably gonna provoke two groups here. Yeah, 
guy. Try it anyway. Ho ho ho. Overheated a little bit to do it, but we got it. <laughs> Paladin, uh, oh, uh, shit. Give me a second. We got tanks. Okay. Uh, was bored yesterday, made a six level. Fuck. Okay, good, we got that. Sorry. <laughs> I will get to chat in a second. I promise. Fuck, where is it? All right, perfect. Hurry up! Hurry up! They're gonna leave the fucking area, you fucker! God damn it. Well, we didn't, because we missed it. Dick. That's the end of that. <laughs> okay, handled that pretty well, all things considered. I'm... Man, the airstrike support in this game leaves so much to be desired. I thought for a second I was going to miss that. Oh, you fucker. Are you serious right now? Can't believe I missed that tank so many times. There, thank you. Fucking A, chat! <laughs> so you made a Paladin, Oath of Vengeance, Rogue Assassin, huh? A 605th edition character. Scenario in order of... Oh, because why not? Gotcha. So D&D, &D, not Pathfinder. We'll walk through this one because it's easier just to walk through it to destroy it. Target down. There we go. Now we can leave. Let's get the fuck out of here. Mission accomplished. Fuck that SRM carrier. Right. Head this way. Let's see if we can avoid any reinforcements. <laughs> Good old Scenarian order. <laughs> oh man. It was such a great reveal when you found out they were the baddies. <laughs> All right, that worked. I mean, it was a little chaotic there for a bit, but that worked out pretty well, all things considered. Ugh. All right, so once we're done here, and we'll see what they are for us. But that was nice. All right, so let's see what we got. And eh, we got a small short laser. We got a PPC. Oh, these are just things we found. All right. Eh, you know what? We'll take that. Ooh, we'll definitely take that because we had a couple of mechs where we needed one of these and we didn't have one. We have plenty of javelins already. We needed a cicada. That's what we really needed, but we didn't get it. Ram ammo. We've got plenty of those. Okay, now let's go up here. Yeah, let's grab that PPC. I think we'll grab that. We do have plenty of these, but we'll we'll take the SRM6. Okay, that was a good, good salvage run. So yeah, damage coverage there was a stupid idea. We 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 would have been better off taking money, but oh well. I thought we were gonna take one on the chin. I guessed wrong. So that was not the best use of that. Okay, so we got a bunch of standard fare stuff, but we got a decent number of them. So that was nice. We'll claim that. We'll take the job reward. We will get our heavy rifle. Perfect. Our mechs really didn't get all that damaged. So let's just repair them. We're not going to bother going back to um, to an industrial hub here. Okay. So, 
focusing on commonality. Let's cruise over. Let's cruise over here. And we'll see what's on sale. We're going to have Legend of the Kestrel Lancers starting soon. And we don't have it already, right? Call to arms. Oh, we do have it now. Okay, our call to arms showed up. Shit. All right. Let's see. If he catches someone by surprise and goes before them, it's an auto crit. Weapon 2d8 plus 4, 46 crit. Oh my god. Plus 48 divine smite. Holy fuck. Yeah, in case something lives. I don't know, man. I don't think a whole lot's going to be surviving that, bro. Jesus, that's only 6th level? That's fucking 6th level. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty... That is pretty fucking nuts. Okay, so 5 months remain to accept this contract. So, we have a choice here. Okay. We do have a choice. We do have a choice. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and play games with this. What I would like to do is to get the mission that's over here to start. So let's cruise over to Boardwalk. Is that, well, the problem is that's 76 days. That's three months in and of itself. We won't have time. We won't have time. Damn it. Ugh. I don't know why. So there's a there's a there's a high reward quest that starts in this area and it, and it just never dropped for us for whatever reason. And I'm not sure why it didn't drop for us. But um, in there was one of the mechs I was talking about wanting all this time. But yeah, this this particular playthrough has really seemed to fuck us over in just about every conceivable fucking way. It's really unreal how often uh, they have just completely fucked us up. Mech market. And yeah, we don't have that for sale. So you know what? Let's, um... Jesus. You know what? Let's just go over here anyway. We'll travel. Because we'll still have the opportunity to do that. So downside, only one attack per round until level 8 with two more Paladin levels. Dude, but that Nova damage is crazy. That is absolutely asinine levels of just... Okay, well, I should probably buy that. Yeah, we will buy the Ultra Auto Cannon. That's very valuable loss tech. That is fantastic. We are buying that. That's the one that's on sale. I don't really give a shit about that. We'll buy the countermeasures. You know what? We'll buy the EW active probe because then we can actually replace the one that got lost. Uh, yes, actually. Let's buy more of that. We might need more of that. Okay. Let's go to the mech market. Cicada! Yes! Let's buy that. Perfect. Hey, job rewards. This was worth it. Select items. Yes. Finally. Things are, things are coming up, Seraph. Finally. <laughs> All right. Yep. Offer to join the AFS three month warning. Yep. Reviews. Aiden Sortex offer. I know. I know. Uh, all right. So we're over here. Wow. It's just not showing up at all. Oh, no. This is it would be over here. somewhere. That's so weird that it won't show up. I wonder if I did something wrong to make it not appear. Did I dismiss it or something like that really sucks. It's a really amazing quest line. And to get a really good reward, even if you don't get the mech I was hoping for. Yeah, this this whole fucking playthrough has been so cursed. It's unbelievable. So we were supposed to get, unless I'm just not close enough to it. But that's bizarre. That's just so fucking bizarre, man. But yeah, it's the Will of Kali is the one that, uh, that we want to do. But and it's supposed to be here. And I feel like I would be normally close enough to it at this juncture to get that broadcast. But we're, we're just not going to get it. It's not going to give it to us. Just not going to give it to us for some reason. All right. Uh, so we got 84 days to rem remain to accept the contract. All right. That's fine. Let's. We'll take 13 days. We'll go here. See what might be here. We'll do some last repairs. Ah, very good. Yay, burgers. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit, Ghosty. We'll be here. 
I hear there's a really good mission looking for volunteers at a place called Tukigan. <laughs> yeah, no shit. That would be great salvage. No kidding. Oh, man. Uh, all right. So, yeah, rare bee laser. Nah, I'm not all that interested in that. Let's take a look at the cantina. Kill three battle masters. We've seen a few of those, actually. So I'm kind of surprised. And that's a pretty good auto cannon five. Kill 12 urban mechs. Ooh, that's a good medium laser and double heat sinks. But wow, 12 urban mechs? I don't know, man. I think we'll find 12 urban mechs. They, the game does like to toss urban mechs at us. So I think we could take this one. And I want to say we'll find a few battle masters in this whole thing. So I might take the battle, take it up on the battle master. So let's try it. Let's accept that. Is there any other shit to do here? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Battle mechs. Let's take one last look at these guys. We got guardian ECM here. Um, let's let's take a look at the loadout. So I could do the active probe now. Electronic warfare active probe. Oh, but it's three and a half tons. Wow, it's three and a half tons? I mean, it does help that it extends the mech detection capabilities, but... Oh, it reduces the HUD distortion caused by hostile ECMs. Battleville active probe heart points. Wow. I don't know if the Beagle active probe is just lighter. Maybe the Beagle is, is lighter. I don't feel like the one we had was three and a half tons. I don't know if I want to put that on here. I don't want to sacrifice uh, that much weight. Forget that. Well, we have them anyway. <laughs> we got this covered here. <laughs> I just love how over the top it is. Ready for action. Nice drop ship, but boring as hell. I'm just here chilling. You know where to find me. Yeah, actually, we'll take a pilot. You got She's the money? good. I got the skills. Right. Let's mess someone up. So that gives me four. That gives me six. So at least this way, if two of my pilots get injured, I've got reasonable replacements. So I think we're good here. Yep, and Juarez is as good as he's ever gonna get. So at this point, if we find a pilot better, we'll just we'll just replace him. But he's served us well for the most part. Uh, all right, I think we're good here. Let's begin. Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. On behalf of First Prince Hans Davian, the Federated Sons wishes to extend to you an offer. Yeah, it's supposed to be on an, an offer, not and offer for a two-year independent commission within the armed forces of the Federated Sons. Over the years, one of our regimental combat teams have suffered significant losses at the hands of the Draconis Combine, which have left the unit's veterans suffering from exhaustion and low morale. A few years ago, the AFFS sought to inject new blood into this unit, promoting up a promising young officer from the Davian Assault Guards, who has since been working at replenishing the ranks of the RCT. But with the replacement troops being fairly green and the veterans demoralized and drained, it is High Command's belief that we needed an additional injection of skilled talent to give some stability to the unit while they work to rebuild their lost ranks. Should you accept this commission, you will be put under a two-year exclusive contract under the direct command of a Marshal of the Armed Forces of the Federated Sons. You will still be entitled to your posted MRB rates with full combat bonuses should the need arise. Contact us as soon as these, if these terms are agreeable. If we do not hear from you by the time our contracts open up, we will need to move on to someone else. We hope to hear from you soon. Yep, and then accepting this offer will cede travel and mission control to your employer for two years. So there we go, Captain or Colonel Aiden Sortek. We are going to accept this. And now we get to depart. But we've we've got a plenty plenty of uh, cantina missions that we could do, and I think we're going to complete a bunch of these during this. There we go. Welcome to the Second Crucis Lancers. I am Marshal Jackson Davian of the Crucis Lancers, 2nd Battalion. You might know us better as the Kestrel Lancers. Colonel Sortek has informed me that you will be serving out your contract as an independent battle mech detachment under my command. We're glad to have you aboard. Yeah, Marshal Davian is... This guy is cool. Uh, we need all the help we can get. I'll be honest with you, Commander. The Kestrel Lancers have seen better days. 
My predecessor was posted on the border with the Draconis Combine and suffered heavy losses at the hands of House Curita's raids during the Third Succession War. While on paper we may still officially exist as a full battalion of the Crucis Lancers, the reality is that First Prince Davian is weighing our deactivation due to our current numbers. We've been aggressively recruiting to fix this, but I need experienced soldiers to build up a reliable corps that I can count on to get the job done and train up our fresh talent. After seeing your performance up close during the Galahad War Games, I'm confident that your unit is exactly what the Kestrel Lancers need at the moment. Although you've been contracted to us as mercenary, officially you will be added to the Kestrel Lancers roster as a Special Operations Battle Mech Company under my command. We want to preserve an appearance of strength to our enemies while our rebuilding is underway. Take your time to prepare your mechs and gear, then head to your nearest jump point. The AFFS will charter a command circuit to bring you to the Crucis Lancers home base on Mira. Be prepared for anything, Commander. With Hans Davian's upcoming wedding to Melissa Steiner, the AFFS has been put on high alert. We'll provide you with a full briefing once you get to Mira. <laughs> you talking about weddings? That wedding, that wedding was the most infamous wedding in fiction up until the fucking Red Wedding. So we will set our course. <clears throat> this is great. Husband. In honor of our marriage, I give you a regiment of battle mechs and the means to support them in perpetuity. My love, in honor of our marriage, I give you a vast prize. The Capellan Confederation. Lancers, we have been called to war. Operation Rat is a go. Our objective? to cripple the Confederation's military-industrial complex, to bloody their most fanatic battle mech regiments, and to take their territory for our own, thus securing our borders for our newfound alliance with House Steiner. To do this, all eight of the Crucis Lancer RCTs have been called upon to take one system, the most vital planet targeted by the Federated Suns, the fortress world of Tikhonov. Defended by numerous battle mech regiments, a vast network of man-made fortifications, and one of the most hardened planetary militias of the entire inner sphere. For over 600 years, Tikhonov has stood as an indomitable Bastille, repelling all who dare to challenge its gauntlet of defenses. But the planet itself is a prize like no other, a fully self-sufficient world virtually untouched by the chaos of the succession wars. Heavily industrialized with an astronomical abundance of natural ore and mineral mining that fuels a booming planetary economy and acts as the foundation for Tikhonov's true props, battle mech factories. Responsible for the manufacturing of large portions of the Capellan Confederation's heavy battle mech forces and considered to be the lifeblood to the Seacalf's war machine. Taking Tikhonov and its mech factories from the Confederation will rob them of one of their military's most vital resources and add it to our own. But the defenders of Tikhonov are among the most fanatical supporters of the Capellan state, many of them lifelong residents of the region. Expect them to fight with unparalleled levels of ferocity to defend their homework. First Prince Hans Davian has personally charged the Crucis Lancers with this mission to break the unbreakable fortress world and claim its mech factories in the name of the Federated Sons. And as God is our witness, we will not misplace the faith that he has put into all of us. We will bend Tikhonov and any other Capellan world that stands in our way to our will. <laughs> it reads like an investor sales video. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> yep, we are at war. The Fourth Succession War has begun. Yep, Hans Tavian weds Melissa Steiner. <clears throat> Invades Capellan Confederation. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, the invasion of Tikhonov has begun. Over 300 dropships carrying all eight regiments of the Crucis Lancers are continuing a high-G burn towards the planet. That's a lot. Eight regiments is a... F that is a lot of fucking hardware. Uh, all it needs is a corporate logo to cement the propaganda. <laughs> well, I mean, you got the Federated Sons uh, logo. So, you know, they've got that. <laughs> Something like Voight. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, our Flotilla's aerospace escort has just fought back the Knight Rider's deep space interdiction force, leaving only one... 
more obstacle that we must clear before we can make planetfall. The Kestrel Lancers have been tasked with destroying a series of anti-dropship batteries located on Tikhonov's first moon, Doria. These batteries combined with the remaining Knight Rider... Uh, Knight Rider. <laughs> <laughs> just, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. <laughs> as soon as I saw Knight Rider, all of a sudden the David Hasselhoff and that iconic opening for that show just started playing in my head. Uh, aerospace fighters could do some serious damage to the Lancer's invasion force as they try to breach the planet's atmosphere. So it is imperative that we clear the way for our fellow Lancers. This war is just beginning, so remember your training. Watch these others' backs. And do not overcommit your forces in this opening engagement. We will still need mechs at the ready for when we make planet fall. Let's show the rest of the Crucis Lancers what the new Kestrel Lancers can do. Yep. And now he's just going to repeat the same thing, basically. All right. Uh, so we already have a lot of damage coverage, but we could take more damage coverage. But we're... I don't think so. I think what we'll do is we'll just go with max here. And yes. I like this one. We'll go with this. We're going max salvage and uh, almost max sea bill payout. Two and a half million sea bills. Yeah, we'll do that. We will do that. I think this is good. Is there anything better? Uh, yes. I should definitely send you in with the fucking stalker. That is for sure. That was stupid on my part not to send you in with the stalker. But oh, there we are. Okay. Let's do this. I always think of Mad Max when I hear Knight Rider. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, too. Hearing Mr. Feeney's voice. Yeah, Mr. Feeny <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it was years later until I actually pieced together that Kit was Mr. Feeny, but once once you hear it, then it's like, oh yeah. And now you as soon as you make that connection, you just don't unhear it. Reactor online. Sensors so our job here is to destroy a bunch of orbital cannons. <clears throat> Boo boy. For generations, Tikhonov has stood as one of the Confederation's economic and manufacturing centers. Because of this, House Liao has spent generations and considerable resources turning Tikhonov into one of the most fortified systems in the inner sphere, which includes a network of anti dropship orbital arrays here on Tikhonov's first moon, Doria. The Kestrel Lancers have been tasked with destroying the arrays and clearing the way for the remaining Lancer regiments to make planetfall. Your strike forces assigned targets have been marked on your HUD. The remaining Kestrel Lancers will be executing similar strikes against targets of their own. Show the second what you're made of, Commander. They really should have. Yeah, that would have been a cool Easter egg. I mean, can you imagine if David Hasselhoff had been a uh, guest star for an episode two? I mean, that would have been wild. <laughs> Yeah. What I really like about this DLC is it it's it truly feels like it truly does feel like um, 31st century warfare. objective here is to take Tikhonov itself. We can't risk giving the Confederation any more time to dig into their positions on planet. Thinking like that is the reason humanity's seen 300 years of technological regression. All because of these bloody succession wars. Watch your tone, Tech. We have a job to do. We can argue about historical preservation later. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target is down. Destroy. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. But yeah, you get a piece of uh, how all the regression technologically happened. 
destroyed. Right, let's... Focusing on issue target. We are going after that. Oh, I thank you. Give me two seconds to say to give a proper greeting here. Ooh, boy, we messing up this thing. That's crap. Well, this just got into a. Okay, we dealt with that. Deal with that. Okay. <sighs> Destroyed you. Okay, let's get away from that before it goes completely crazy. There we go. Okay, now we get to destroy these, and this is going to take a while. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. I appreciate the follow. Uh, I appreciate the, appreciate the follow, Jake. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the channel. Feel free to lurk or chat to your heart's content. We're pretty friendly. We're playing some Mech Warrior here. That should still destroy that. It's not moving. Yeah, these tend to take a bit to destroy here. And I usually try to just use my lasers. Do, 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 do. It does take a while to destroy these things. Boy, does it take a while. There we go. I think we got it. We got that one. All right, now onto this one. <laughs> there we go. Ah, see this game making me wish to, to check my bind on could cover it. Yes, oh my god, would that be amazing, Dark Star? That would be absolutely glorious. Definitely don't want that shooting at me. <laughs> Cub Louie. I'll have to get the other angle on in a second. There's over here. So you have to just keep shooting different parts of it. If you just keep shooting the same part, it doesn't actually destroy the damn thing. Just need that spot now. Come on. Almost got this darn thing. There it is. Right, this one. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors Gundam was uh, was fun. I mean, Dynasty Warriors in general was just a really fun game. It's the closest I've come to any video game that felt like Exalted. Yep. Oh, we got incoming reinforcements here. Let's deal with this shit. Let's just close and deal with them. Come on, guys. Okay, let's get these guys shaken up a little bit. Come on, team. Good 
job. Ah, I know you lost it for a second. Where is it? Where is our... Where is our target? It's in here somewhere. Hey, thank you for running straight at me. <laughs> Made that an easy shot. I had the Fist of the North Star one. Oh, man. I didn't even know they made a Fist of the North Star one. That's amazing. All right, we got a couple allied mechs with us, but they don't seem to be doing very much to help us. But that's okay. Me and my squad here seems to be pretty good. Now we go to the other installation. We do the exact same thing. Man. That looks awesome. Oh, they're not even following us now. That's awesome. Great. Pulling in file formation, sir. Sometimes I have to also hold the AI's hand to tell them what to do. I saw them getting a little lost there. If you don't mind getting in formation now, that'd be great. Come on, form on me. As soon as we turn this corner, we're going to have all sorts of fucking shit. All right, that's close enough, I guess. Ooh, boy. Granted, it's going to die before you get here, but hopefully that gets you guys coming over here. Nice job. It's a shame I have to tell them. Oh shit! Fuck. Good. That was worth it. It was worth it to destroy that AC-20. <laughs> Fucking hunchback. God damn. Those things are awful. New target, Centurion. Focus target received, Commander. Ah, hit me in the head. Let's go over here. Let's cool off. Break up the line of sight. Kill for me. Good job. All right, guys. Let's do this. Let's take out these orbital cannons. We got this. Nice job. Thank you. Excellent. Just keep an eye out, make sure nothing else is showing up here. Uh, bluey. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go over on this side. Okay, good. You already did. Thank you. All right, here. Yeah, this part isn't all that exciting. We just shoot to our heart's content and blow up the cannons. It just takes a little while. Because I'm also unwilling to use my limited ammunition. Well, most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> so it just takes a little longer. Although I do have a decent amount of SRM ammo. No. Thankfully, people have been shooting that one already. There we are. We're almost there. Yep. 
Yep, we're gonna have a dropship. Return to your dropships and prepare your forces for planet all. We'll see you on the ground. Acknowledged. All stations move to designated evac points on the double. We have an invasion to get to. I got it. We should get that one. Come on, guys. Shoot it down. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't even want to use my LRMs against it. I'd rather them shoot it down just in case we have other guys. And wow, Dark Star. Wow. <laughs> now I want a super soaker full of grape shoot juice. Go for the. Oh, ow. Man, that's sadistic, freak bot. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. All right, now the question is, were, will anybody try to crash our party while we make our way to the evac zone? I think if we dawdle and take too long, that will happen. But overall, this worked out. We did a pretty nice job of this. Albeit, we had a lot of help. If by sadistic, you mean hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it's hilarious for everybody else. Thought a turret was going to show up out of there, but it's not the type of panels I'm used to seeing there. I'm surprised no turrets are showing up out of the yin yang to shoot at us. Target acquired. Target I jinxed it. I totally jinxed it there. That's my fault. <laughs> Fortunately, they didn't hit us. Fuck that turret, in particular. We've got you, Commander. Mount up and prepare for a hard burn out of here. Marshal Davion wants us planet side with the rest of the Lancers ASAP. Pretty sure it's a war crime, bro. <laughs> I just saw that comment. That's hilarious. I don't know, Darkstar. That pun was, uh, was, that pun may have been a war crime. <laughs> so we already took out a fucking urban mech. That was good. We don't need a cicada anymore. Although, if I didn't buy that cicada, I could have just scavenged this one. So that's kind of lame, but oh well. Uh, we did kill a Jenner, so that was nice. I guess the question is... Yeah, fuck it. Let's just grab the Jenner here. And we'll grab a medium laser. That's probably the best use of that. We got negligible damage. Nice. Solid opening, opening salvo. But this war is just getting started. Daria was manned mostly by planetary militia. While they might have some of the toughest militia in the inner sphere, they still don't hold a candle to the hardened CCAF regiments that call Tekken off their home. Always assume the next fight is going to be tougher than the last, and that it will come sooner than you think. So be sure to pace yourself and your personnel out there. Our next operation is scheduled to commence in 15 days. If your mechs are in need of repair, be sure to get your tech started on them immediately. Even if they won't be ready for your mech's deployment, getting their repairs in the queue might be the difference between life and death in the coming months of this campaign. Always remember, Operation Rat will not be a sprint. It's going to be a marathon, so never overcommit to a single battle if it means that we'll lose the war. Well, we made it through okay. Kill six Jenner mechs. Yep, we will take our... Take our uh, victory there. Okay, so that worked out pretty well. Let's go into our battle mechs. Yep, let's repair. How many Jenners do I have? Got one Jenner. All right, cool. So now any other Jenner we get, we can just keep. Sweet. All right, thanks to your valiant efforts on Daria, the entirety of the Crucis Lancers were able to make Planetfall with minimal casualties. Since making Planetfall, we have learned that the Capellan Confederation's strategic military director, 
Pavel Ridzik, is presently on Tikhonov, leading the Capellan defenders. This bodes incredibly well for our war efforts, as capturing or eliminating Ridzik could end this war before it even starts. But we can't get ahead of ourselves. Crucis Lancer's next objective is to take control of major population centers and, most importantly, secure Tikhonov's numerous spaceports on the planet. The 8th and 6th, Crucis will be assigned to take the capital of Tikograd. The 7th is dropping to secure the primary Earthworks limited battle mech factories, while the remaining Crucis Lancer units will fan out and take other major population centers around the planet. The Kestrel Lancers have been assigned to take the mining town of Giziga, located high in the Kazan mountain range. Although it is a small township compared to other major population centers, it is an important one as it remains close to major, major mineral mining operations and has an active spaceport located nearby that's used to ship refined materials off planet. No spaceport is too minor when it comes to planetary conquest, so despite its size, it's still heavily defended. Mio Intelligence estimates that the entirety of the Ariana Grenaders has been sent to Garrison Gaziga and its surrounding area. The Cruces Lancer's aerospace wing plans on bombarding the Grenadiers while they're out in the open, which will force them to pull back into the city itself. The Kestrel Lancers will then move on Gaziga and clean out whatever Grenadier forces remain after the aerospace jocks are done with them. Our assault will commence in two weeks. Prepare your forces appropriately. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Yeah, we'll just do that. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay, mission starts in 15 days. We should have all this stuff done by then. Wait, 15 days for a mission start? Well, the mission starts in 15 days, so yeah, we don't need to wait. Yeah, we'll be fine. That was weird. Sorry, <laughs> Ariana grenades. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's funny. Really messing this back up. Okay. 
So we got our secondary objective done. Let's proceed to our primary. Let's just head this way. Let's do this. Okay, we got eight of them. You know, I had forgotten that the Ares Conventions were renounced at the beginning of this uh, Accession Wars. Focusing on issue target. Yeah, that's... That fire starter's got to come out to us. I don't want to fight the fire starter in close quarters. We've it's got flamers, small lasers. The inner city as cover. There we go. All Lancer forces advance into the city and flush them out. Perfect. Thank you for making way. Oh shit. Your forces are showing losses. Let's keep the momentum up. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Target destroyed. Target applied. Back this way. On, guys, go after that. Engaging. Shouldn't have to tell you this. Yeah, now what are you gonna do? You got nothing but long range shit there. That was actually stupid of that Griffin to kind of close to me. It should have stayed far away. All right, so we got one lance. We still got another lance to deal with. Let's see. Let's see if we could go over. Oh. Well, we got this, huh? Yeah, let's go grab this. Let's see what this is. We oh. up. New target, Phoenix Hawk. Target applied. Put your focusing target. Good. Our munitions can be restocked. Ah, it's gonna hit the building instead. Wow, I destroyed New the fucking target. building. Vindicator. Yeah, the Vindicator will show up first. Target acquired. You know, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's go this way, cool off. Oh, well, that works. Run around this thing. Oh, I thought I could run through that fucking greenhouse. Shit. Doesn't look like I'm being shot at at the moment, though. So this is a good evasive technique here while I pull off. Oh. Pulled off. Get out of the way. Good. While you're over on that side of the building. You have fought bravely for your cause, but the battle is lost. Surrender and no further harm will come to you or Gizhiga. Do you take us for fools? You, the dogs of that town, Unstabian, who extended the heads of friendship and unity only to cry about the conflict of our nation and his wedding. After what he did, more self-respect. Very well. Have it your way. Castro Lancers, finish the fight. <laughs> Ariana Grenadier forces have been neutralized. Commander, secure your position and prepare to receive relief forces. With any luck, the other seven Lancer regiments meet with similar success. The Ariana, Ariana Grenadiers. 
Oh my goodness. So in fairness to the game, all that was determined way before Rare Grana was even born. <laughs> all right, so our reputation grows again. Okay, collect. That's more valuable. Fuck it. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't see. Oh, I'll take the small lasers. Sure. Okay. Oh shit! I didn't swap out Juarez. Fuck! I'm being an idiot there. I need to check my. I absolutely need to check that. Okay, cicada. Yeah, we can do that. We'll do that. Okay. All right. Last night we received word that Pavel Ridzik has abandoned Tikhonov. The 6th, 7th, and 8th cruises attempted to capture him, but bad weather prevented the aerospace wings from being able to pursue Ridzik's dropship as he fled the system. That bastard. My headcanon is that somehow she got so famous that she got her own standing army in the distant future. You know, that headcanon works. It really does. <laughs> the capital, Tikograd, is in talks with AFFS command to negotiate terms of surrender for the city and many of the major uh, civilian population centers on Tikhonov. We're hoping they'll help us broker a surrender from the remaining CCAF forces now trapped on Tikhonov. But until that time, the trapped CCAF forces remain a threat. While our Blitzkrieg worked at disrupting their defenses and taking firm control of the system's spaceports, it also allowed for large numbers of Confederation forces to withdraw into the wilderness, where they'll undoubtedly regroup en masse. Thanks to the efforts of the 7th Crucis and their liberation of the head Earthworks limited facilities on Tikhograd, we were able to identify a hidden Earthworks mech, popular, uh, mech production facility rather, deep in the Kazan mountain range, less than 600 clicks south of our current position. Our liaison with the Ministry of Information, Intelligence, and Operations believes that this will be where the, key, where the uh, CCAF guerrillas will make an attempt to regroup their forces. As the closest unit stationed near this hidden facility, Command wants the Kestrel Lancers to move against this installation and capture it before the CCAF are allowed to fortify their position and resupply. Taking this facility should cut the legs out from the remaining Confederation forces in system, so be sure to bring the biggest mechs you can muster in time for this fight. We'll be moving against the facility shortly. Finish the fight strong, Lancers. So yeah, we are going to do that. Mm. We already have a ton of fucking damage coverage, and they won't give us that. Well, fine. I guess we're, I guess we're taking additional damage coverage just because we have no choice in the matter. <laughs> But all right, yeah, now, uh, I don't know why. Yeah, you're the better pilot there. Freeman. Shit, Hollis is actually better. Hollis is better. I should go with Hollis here. Yep. Unfortunately, Freeman is now just a uh, just a reserve pilot. We've uh, we've kind of grown beyond him. Uh, considering Freeman's track record, you're going to need the extra coverage, <laughs> right? You know, maybe it's just as well we sideline Freeman for a little bit. <laughs> put him put him in reserve. Oh my goodness! Give me two seconds, chat. I'm going to go grab myself a uh, soda replacement here. I will be right back. <laughs>
microphone really does like to pick that sound up. Thank goodness for my limiter. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is. Maybe that sound just is loud. And I just never noticed how loud it was to open a can of soda. Of course, I could have done that downstairs. Whatever. Okay. There we are. Okay, there we go. I've got our pilots, our better pilots. Now that I got Curtis in there and Hollis in instead of Freeman and Juarez. Granted, Freeman and Juarez have served me well. But... We do have better pilots now. And we've seen the difference between the better pilots. The good pilots, they shoot at things, actually hit them. The capital of Tigograd has surrendered. Strategic Director Pavel Ridzik has fled the system, and the primary earthworks manufacturing facilities in Tigograd have fallen under our control. But the fight is not over. Davian Intelligence has tracked the remaining Liao defenders to a hidden Earthworks mech assembly plant and storage facility close to our forward operating base. Our mission is to finish the fight. Eliminate all Liao defenders and secure the Earthworks production site. Kestrel Lancers, advance. Commander, the entire Second Crucis is on deck for this mission. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Support our allies and clear the field. There is no telling what we'll encounter once we reach the targeted facility. What cat? Hi, cat. Sorry, bear with me a second. Hello, Cleo. What did I did I wake you from my slumber when I opened the, the can of soda? Hi. Hello. Can you sit down? Mm hmm. Yeah. You want to sit down? Can I keep me company? Hello, cat. What you doing, cat? I'm actually surprised that she's not sleeping. She was very active today. Whoops. Ooh, hello. Ow, 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 ow. Don't, don't bite my foot. Oh God, you're biting my foot. Oh, we got some more. Hello. Hello, kitty, kitty. Made it through that just fine. Oh, we got a survivor here. I don't think I got that. I think somebody else got it. Nice job, Curtis. Good girl. Girl. <laughs> I absolutely love the aesthetic of this game. We have made contact with Liao defenders screening the base. We're engaging now. We've made it to the outer perimeter, encountering large amounts of static defenses. I've identified the turret's control center, marking it on the HUD now. If there is anyone with jump capabilities, we may be able to silence those turrets all at once. Yeah, we don't have jump. <laughs> we don't have jump capability. But even when I have had jump capability, it usually is not all that effective anyway. Why are you guys running? You have an atlas. You have a literal atlas. So unfortunately, we can't let the facility be destroyed. So that's a problem. guys deal with that shit okay, I think I can deal with the Orion ah. shit something's hit me in the face damn it Urgh. need to move let's go over this side okay Behind 
here. Oh, dude, why would you walk right in front of me? Thank you. Try, buddy. Is much too ah. to All remaining lancers. Cleo, no, you can't. No, honey, that's dangerous. No, what are you doing? Why, 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 why? Come here. Thank goodness there's a pause function. <laughs> if I played, if I played like competitive team games, I would just die all the time whenever the cat showed up. Be like, well, I'm dead. <laughs> I'll join in next. My teammates would hate me. Be like. Really, Seraph? Really? <laughs> Hello. Is that what you wanted? Or did you really want to play with that? And you're confused at why you can't be allowed to play with that. Fan out and secure the exterior of this facility. Sure no shows back on. Marshal Davian, we have neutralized the turrets. Your forces are free to approach. <sighs> oh my god. Hmm. Oh crap, we can't go through here. Ugh. Shit. That door open. The problem is if we No, stop trashing through walls, guys. You're damaging the facility. Don't do that. Ugh. And it is hard to get through this without destroying the facility. Oh now the door opens, thanks. It is really hard to get through this without destroying the facility. Now this door is gonna open. Come on, buddy. Open door. Oh, open says me. Thank you. Leo, what? Hi. You want you're acting okay. Now you're acting like you want me. But I fed you before starting. I'm sorry, bad cat. Uh, chat. <laughs> Let, give me, give me one second to deal with my cat. <laughs> Let me see what she wants. I know it kind of interrupts the flow of the mission, but, but cat, cat clearly needs something. Uh, look out for your paw, honey. Look out for your paw. Okay. All right.
Okay. I'm sorry, chat. Let's let's resume. <laughs> she did want food. She wanted more food. Even though she had plenty she had like half a bowl of food, but she likes when I pour fresh food in there. That's that's what she was looking for. Despite the fact that she just, you know, ate. But uh, the deals of the trials and tribulations of a cat owner. <laughs> sorry. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, and I just rubbed my face. Oh, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? Oh, no. Oh, I can feel my eyes burning. Oh, okay. Well, it's okay. We'll just call this a, a challenge achievement for this. Oh, I need to go that way. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I don't want to damage this shit. No, 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 no. Nice job, Seraph. Like, drop it a piano. Blimey, those are caliphates. One of the first new battle mix designs in centuries. Yes, between the Raven and the Cataphract, House Liao has been the only great house other than House Steiner to produce brand new mech designs since the start of the Succession Wars. Even with it being mostly cobbled together by recycling components from other mechs, it's still an impressive battle mech, which is why it is imperative that we minimize the damage to this facility. Shit. Come on, guys, take out those VTOLs. You're not going to take out the fucking VTOLs, goddammit. Go. Let's proceed this way. That you guys should be able to handle that spider. You really should. Let me advance me. and deal with the trebuchet Target here. Wire. That trebuchet could hurt me. Yeah, we're doing it. All right, we made short work of the cataphract or the trebuchet. Jesus, we got a mech lost. I think it's the Stalker. The Stalker is totally confused. It doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Hold on. Me. Yep. You're the confused one. You're lost. It's the Stalker. We'll just... Pilot it myself and get it back to where we need to be. Yeah, unfortunately, the rest of the lance is going to come to me, but it's all right. Every so often, a mech will get hung up on this uh, level, and the only thing to do is to switch mechs and guide it back to where it needs to be. So I think once we're done here... Wow, we got a, uh, a Jager mech, an Atlas. So this... I mean, we've got some serious... And a Warhammer. We've got some serious help here. We really should be okay. How did you end up in here? All right, guys, let's stop hitting stuff. All right, let's try this again. This time without getting stuck. If you guys can do that, that'd be great. Proceed up this bridge. Maybe you guys can make it away. Oh my god, is that stalker going back over there again? That stalker's going back up here again, isn't he? Oh my god. Why is it over there? Is it finally coming over here? Yeah, he's finally moving his way over there. Man, for some reason that stalker really wanted to go over there. We'll just wait for everybody to reassemble. Doesn't look like the defenders are doing anything stupid at the moment. So since they're buying us time, let's let's get fully assembled here. Unfortunately, we have an AI pilot being a dumbass. Once this stalker gets to the top, though, I think we'll be in better shape. I think we're okay to proceed now. Oh boy! That was interesting. Okay, let's try this again. Realistically, that Davian Atlas should be in front. 
It's not, but it should be. You always kind of want the Atlas in the front line. Jackson Davian of the Second Crucis Lancers. In the name of First Prince Hans Davian and the Federated Sons, we are here to commandeer this facility. Stand down and surrender, and no further harm will come to you or your people. Bastard. We were sort of a sitting duck there. Sabotage the facility rather than see it fall into our hands. Yep. Commander, our mission is to capture this complex in functional condition. Check your fire in these tight quarters and eliminate any enemies you encounter ASAP. Enemy reactor low to blow. Nice kill, Commander. That was actually a nice kill on my part. Those things can be a real pain in the neck to deal with in here. I've had that javelin run circles around me so often. And yeah, you have to shoot the javelin, but not the walls. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit. Shit. Like that. That was not good. Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Alright, you guys go at it from that direction. I'll try and go at it from this direction. Oh god, we've got a billion. We got a fucking swarm coming in. Fuck. Shit, I don't even see how we're supposed to get that swarm from in here. Damn. Alright, hopefully they did a decent job shooting them down. Fuck. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I just decided fuck it there. Destroy the Vindicator quicker. Rather than preserving... Trying to preserve the uh, facility. Just trying to avoid the facility keeps that Vindicator active longer. Yep, mech fa repair facilities. I don't know if these let us repair these, though. It'd be nice if it did, but I don't think that I do. Alright, guys, come on. <sighs> Fine. We're moving. Go there. <laughs> Maybe if I tell them to go, they'll do it. Yes, they work. Why, thank you, cold dog. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to the channel. We're playing some Mech Warrior 5. Well, let's do this. Let's advance. They're far enough moving along now. Let's try going a little forward. This raven. Shit. Gotta count. Why are you guys not shooting this blackjack? I'm overheating. Oh, that little bastard came forward and did a melee shot. Oh, those repair day bays do work. Cool. Damn, I wish I'd gone in it. Damn it. Of course, my AI pilots did fucking jack shit there. Whoops. Let's try it. No, no, no. Don't walk in front of me. Damn it. Got it. All right. Well, I lost uh, a little bit of equipment here, but... So, you know what? Let's head back up into that repair bay. And let's at least repair the armor on this. Because I didn't lose... I didn't lose the arm. It's just damaged. Let's go back up there. That's pretty awesome that they'll fix you. That is super awesome. Yeah, there's no icon over it, so I just assumed they wouldn't. But cool, let's go do that. I'm the only one who's taken any damage. Shocker. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Damn, I wish I'd done that. I would have preserved... I would have preserved that weapon system that just lost. Oh, well. I'll take the armor. Sweet. 
I don't think I have anything on this that's irreplaceable, except for the streak SRM2s. Because even medium pulse lasers at this point I can uh, recover from. But cool, thank you, Cold Dog. I appreciate that. <laughs> so how are you? This is obviously not the first time you've played this. Sadly, this is not my first playthrough, but I feel like my skill level is that of a first playthrough. Is that true? That turret really should try to shoot at me. Let's just destroy it anyway before it becomes active. You know, we're having fun here with uh, Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. <laughs> Not my first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're playing slightly modded. Um, I don't have any of the really advanced mods on here, but I do have a couple of quality of life mods that make my life a little easier. And I've got a high definition graphic mod, so the cockpit looks a little nicer. Yep, here's the last bit. Oh, and I guess we lost the stalker again. To the surprise of no one. Come on, guys, get in there. Fight that thing, Jaegermech. Thank you. Yeah, we completely lost our stalker. Where? I'm not really sure. Ah, fuck. Shit. Well, that was not a good decision. Let's see if I can... Damn. Oh, I almost got that cockpit. Got the cockpit that time. Uh, get that cockpit, thank you. Now let's get that freaking VTOL. It's driving me crazy. You. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha, nice shot. I think that's it. So as long as you're having fun. Oh, yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> on behalf of the Federated Sons, I accept your surrender. All Crucis Lancer forces stand down. Mission accomplished. Tikhonov is ours. That's actually a lot of... So don't let the factory be destroyed. I think 55% is the most I've actually had on there. Uh, usually it gets down pretty pretty low for me. So that was a good showing on, uh, at least on my part this time. That's super awesome that you can repair there. I had no idea. Huh. Yeah, we'll take the rare components here and... Yeah, we'll take some large laser here. And a little AC here. I don't see anything rare. All right, at this point, let's just go value in case we ever need to sell these. Badass. So I have a mod pack that BPL uses at times. I'm not familiar with BPL. Mod pack. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really that familiar with some of the various mod packs out there. I know yet another mech lab is like one of, one of the more popular ones. Um, but I haven't gone with that. Ooh, I forgot we get a cataphract from all that. Mission accomplished, Lancers. Tikhonov is officially ours. Crucis Lancer Command has accepted the surrender of Tikograd and the major population centers around the planet. While pockets of resistance still exist, they currently do not possess the numbers or the coordination to be considered a major threat. The 8th Crucis will be indefinitely posted on assignment here to administer the transfer of power to the Federated Suns. From there, they'll be tasked with tracking down the remaining resistance fighters and securing a permanent hold on the entire Tikhonov system. As for the rest of the Crucis Lancers, all mech warriors and combat personnel have been granted a month's worth of leave for R&R. &R. All commanded technician personnel will remain focused on repairs <clears throat> and refitting our equipment for our next assignment. In a month's time, the Crucis Lancers will be breaking apart into individual regiments for the next phase of Operation Rat. Welcome back, Cap. No, 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 you go, go, go play with your toy, honey. I interrupted her. She was about to go play with her toy, and then she came over. Come here. Come on. Come here, cat. No, no, no. Don't mess with me. 
Yeah, I gotta look at you. Come here, cat. Come here, cat. Come here, my adorable little shithead. I know you're my adorable little shithead. No, seriously. Streamer cries on stream, defeated by his cat. More at 11. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> so anyway, Commander. Ow! Don't bite me. Ow! Don't bite me. Ow! Damn. Okay. Okay. Ow. That really hurt, cat. <laughs> what? What? My foot is not a toy. You were going to play with your <sighs> what are you doing? Come here. No? Okay, fine. Jeez. That really hurt. <laughs> she like really chomped down on my foot that time. Normally she's pretty good. She didn't break the skin there, right? No, she did not. She still has not broken the skin on there. Yeah, yet another victory for the vicious feline forces. No shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. So sometimes I make the mistake because my desk has a, a little bar on the bottom for the legs. So I'll put my feet up on there. And sometimes my feet make appealing targets for her to like bite to get my attention. Um, but that time she really chomped down on it. Okay, now she's got her toy. Yeah, she just wanted to play. But uh, like sometimes I'm like, cat, my, my hands and my feet are not toys. And sometimes she'll like really get into chewing on my hand. But my hand can take it. Whereas my foot, my foot really can't. I think sometimes she doesn't necessarily realize <laughs> that hurts <laughs> until I go Yow! good gracious me okay commander while the enlisted personnel are on leave I'll need you to prepare your company for our next target be sure to use this month to retool any battlefield salvage upgrade weapons and prep your forces in anticipation for our next fight with the Crucis Lancers dividing up to invade multiple targets prepare your forces to shoulder heavier direct combat operations but don't neglect speed and utility as well. Uh, we'll need to remain flexible and may have a need for high mobility operations depending on what is thrown at us. One final item, the liberation of the Earthworks mech factories in Tikograd and Kazan have yielded a large surplus of near complete mechs. Our techs were able to complete the construction of a number of cataphracts that were on the verge of being operational when we conquered the facilities. These mechs can be uh, distributed to all Crucis Lancer battalions to replenish our forces lost in the campaign. Commander, your unit will be gifted a fresh cataphract as a combat bonus for the liberation of the Kazan facility. You're free to use it as you see fit. So the cataphract is a combination of a couple of mechs. So what the Capellan Confederation did, ooh, and that's a pretty good ER PPC too. That's really nice. So for, um, as far as a little bit of a lore dump here, yeah, I lost an, uh, an SRM-6 there. That's, that's not the end of the world. I'll repair all. <laughs> you are such a spaz, kitty. You're such a spaz. Who's cute? Are you cute? Here's your cute kitty. <laughs> she's, she's got the zoomies in the bathroom now. She's bouncing her mouse around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I believe so. Yeah, I was just about to get to that uh, call dog. But yes, I believe you're right. I was actually trying to think of it. Because for sure the catapult, the marauder. And I was trying to think of the last one. But you're right. I think it's the vindicator. Um, one out of three marauder. Oh, yeah. wow. Really? Marauder, Shadowhawk, and Phoenix Hawk? I would have... I could have sworn... Oh, I know what we're thinking of. We're thinking of the Mad Cat. Because the uh, computer... Uh, the targeted computer saw the Mad Cat. Or the Timberwolf, rather. And instead, uh, because the computer couldn't figure out what it is, it displayed Mad Cat for half Marauder, half Catapult. That's I think that's what we were thinking of. With the uh, Catapult and the Marauder. Uh, from Sarna, dubbed a Frankenmech. Yep, that's why they call it the Frankenmech. Um, but it was a brilliant idea to take a couple of other primary mech factories and just, uh, you know, streamline it into one um, one process flow where you can now complete a mech. Hello, kitty kitty. Come here. Come here. Leo, leave the computer alone. Honey. Go come here. You're doing nothing but getting into trouble today. Give me just two seconds. Come here.
Stay here. The wires. She is usually not this much of an asshat. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure what's gotten into her. Oh my god, you're going right over to those wires now that I've sat down. Leo. Leo. I am looking at you. You're doing what you can't do. No. Why? Okay. She decided to play with her toy after all. Okay. <laughs> maybe she saw. Maybe she saw Sarah broke. <laughs> I don't know. Suddenly she went after her toy instead. Thank God for that. All right. So let's start work. That'll only take twelve days. Thank God. All right, the rest of these are going to be so minimal. We'll repair those. But yeah, we got an extra mech out of the deal. <sighs> my cat. My cat, my cat, my cat. Uh, let's take a look at the equipment we can buy. I don't think there's any real equipment that we really need to buy at this point. Although we're starting to really compile some serious money here. So it might be worth it to buy some of these. Just as extra replacements. Some of these are pretty good. I don't think there's anything in particular interest in the mech market, but we'll look anyway. Yeah, the Wolfhound is here. The Wolfhound is a cool mech. Yeah, and we're, we're, we had a 5% discount in Leo space when we were doing missions for them, but now as we continue to work against them, now they see us and we're like, yeah, we're, we're marking that up, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's going to be how it goes. Let's take a look at the cantina. Collect one hunchback mech. Mm. Let's do this one because we will have no problem dealing with missile carrier units. Yep, perfect. Good deal. Uh, let's take a Commander, I'll Ooh. be in the hangar for pre-drop checklists. Meet you in the ready room. This is a good pilot. We probably should take this pilot. Hello, honey. Hello. Are you a spaz? Hmm? Are you a spaz? Yeah. Or are you done playing? You want to sit down on daddy's foot? Hmm? You want to sit down on my foot? Girl, I love you. I do like the fact that it's a Max 60 pilot. That's pretty awesome. Let's hire that my pilot. History is my business. Keep it like that and we have a deal. Yeah, we're, we're going to go with that. Okay. I think that's all of the equipment. I think we've retooled pretty well. Everything's repairing. We did that. Yep. All right. Let's depart. All right. Mission accomplished, Lancers. Tikhonov is officially ours. Crucis Lancer Command has accepted the surrender of Tikograd and the major population centers around the planet. While pockets of resistance still exist, they currently do not possess the numbers or the coordination to be considered a major threat. The 8th Crucis... Sorry, it just occurred to me to check and make sure my cat's water is all set. But it is. Because at some point she's going to hop up here looking for water. Oh my goodness. No. I... No. <laughs> it's almost like she keeps trying to like, is he still watching me? I'm like, yes, cat. I can... The computer's right in front of me. I can see you. <laughs> this is not a... Big surprise here. Oh my god. So yeah, they don't possess the numbers or, or can actually be a major threat. So anyway, the 8th Crucis will be indefinitely posted on assignment here to administer the transfer of power to the Federated Sons. From there, they'll be tasked with tracking down the remaining resistance fighters and securing a permanent hold on the entire Tikhonov system. As for the rest of the Crucis Lancers, all mech warriors and combat personnel are granted a month's worth of leave for R&R. All commanded technician personnel will remain focused on repairs and refitting our equipment for our next assignment. In one month's time, the Crucis Lancers will be breaking apart into individual reference uh, regiments for the next phase of Operation Rat. Once we ship out, we'll brief the battalion on their next objective. 
For now, get some rest while you can. Be sure to collect any company provisions from the market while you're still together, and take this opportunity to perform any repairs and refits to your mechs and equipment before we deploy to our next assignment. So let's do it. Wave three of Operation Rat has begun. From here, the Crucis Lancers will divide and conquer a number of systems, securing our grip of the Tikhonov commonality. The second and third Crucis Lancers' next assignment is to take the world of Tigris. Boasting one of the highest standards of living and well-educated populaces in all of the Capellan Confederation, Tigris has acted as a cultural center and brain trust of the Capellan state for centuries. Bringing Tigris to heel will consolidate the Federated Sun's might throughout the Terran Corridor and further secure our hold of vital jump ship routes into the Lyran Commonwealth. Its conquest will also rob House Liao of a major population center containing some of the Capellan state's brightest minds and wealthiest families, hampering the Confederation for generations. Given the system's wealth and nobility, House Liao has stationed significant defenses on Tigris. With only 2nd and 3rd battalions assigned to this invasion, we should expect to encounter stiff resistance to our occupation, as we will not be able to rely on the same amount of support that we received on Tikhonov. But always remember, the Lancers have already done what not even the Star League could do. We took the unconquerable world of Tikhonov. Compared to that, there is nothing that Tigris can throw at us that we haven't already faced before. That's the thing with the DLC. Days will just advance. We just advanced basically two months there. <laughs> We're already uh, most of the way through 3028. And 3028 practically just like started for us. So let's do the mission briefing. We're about to make planet fall onto Tigris. Or onto Tigris. Aerospace sweeps of our targeted LZs show no opposition forces waiting for us. From what the reconnaissance has shown, mech and vehicle forces are currently stationed just outside the largest population centers. It appears that the Capellan defenders will allow us to land on Tigris uncontested. We believe they're holding these defensive positions, anticipating a blitzkrieg similar to our attack on Tikhonov. But that will not be our strategy this time. Unlike Tikhonov that had major population centers scattered across the planet, Tigris' prime primary center of power rests in a concentrated cluster of multiple cities and townships called, uh, oh god, now I have to actually say this. Uh, I'll just skip to it for the four cities. Uh, actually... Sige Chenshi. Uh, to control Tigris, we only need to neutralize the four cities to bring it under our control. To do this, the Kestrel Lancers will be dropping 40 clicks north of the city behind a small but dense forest named Eulor's Grove. Our sister unit, the third, will be landing east of the four cities at, a base, uh, at the base of the Granite Field Mountains. Both battalions will regroup at our planned forward operating bases and then move to initiate a coordinated pincer strike against the four cities. Before we can move against the four cities, however, both regiments of Crucis Lancers must secure forward operating bases to prepare for our eventual pincer attack. Our FOB will be located within Euler's Grove. Once planet side, you are to advance along the nav point route until you reach our planned location for the FOB and clear out any potential hostiles that may be occupying its location. Provided the Capellan defenders maintain their defensive positions, we should be able to secure our FOB with only marginal enemy resistance expected. Good luck, everyone! And welcome back, Ghosty. Welcome back, Ghosty. How's your burger, my friend? You missed Cleo decide to uh, <laughs> initiate Max Chaos Protocol here. <laughs> but it's only solidified my uh, the glaring need clearly for me to reorganize how I have my desk set up. Because clearly, the cables where they are are far too attractive of a target. Or uh, of a, um, yeah, too appealing of uh of a target for her to just go after and play with and whatnot so i have to figure out what i'm doing with this computer do i move it do i keep it on the floor do i get some sort of like stand next to my desk over here and set it up over there it's actually kind of what i'm thinking is i might actually have to elevate it off the floor and put it over here so that it um so that uh you know it just kind of is out of harm's way and is no longer a font, so to speak, of temptation for my cat. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to figure that out because 
I was looking under my desk and even putting like a cable conduit doesn't address the fact that cables come out of the computer itself. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to move this thing on top of the desk. I don't see any other scenario where anything else even remotely makes sense. So yeah, I mean, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Max everything. Although, do we get more rep if we, you know what? I wonder, do we get more rep if we go in under, you know what? We might, we might go in, we might get more rep. Shit, you know what? I should try that. You have negotiations point left. Let's do it. I don't think this is like the uh, turn-based Battletech game where if you don't do all of them, they... Uh, no, 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 no. I don't... So, I don't recommend... Here's why I don't recommend a spray bottle. <laughs> it's also why you also saw me going like, uh, you want this instead, cat? You want this instead, cat? And give her something hopefully more appealing. Um... The, the issue with the spray bottle is I don't want her to associate me with something unpleasant. <laughs> hey, Kara, what's going on, buddy? Welcome. We're playing Mech Warrior. Uh, at least we're trying to, uh, you know, in between Cleo causing chaos and saying hello. But greetings, my friend. How are you? Are you looking forward to uh, you, this week is the week you're going up to Orlando, right? You looking forward to that? So I, I do it. The cat tree's literally right there it, it, in like the same room. It's it's literally right there. That's actually why I got up and kind of tossed the toy around it thinking like, hey, you want to come over here instead, kitty kitty? <laughs> oh, that was last week. Well, welcome back, my friend. How was Orlando then in that case? I did not look forward to it. I'm glad I'm <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're back, my friend. Let's do this. Yep, we're going to launch. <laughs> Uh, home, no place like it. It's very true. ...is a heavy concentration of the system's populace, clustered around a number of townships and cities known locally as Suga Chongxi, the Four Cities. We've made Planetfall 40 clicks north of our main objective, shielded by a small but dense forest known as Yorlor's Grove, while the third has made Planetfall in the Granite Field Mountains to the east of our objective. We are each set to advance on the city from both directions and attempt a pincer attack to claim the four cities. Tread carefully. While Tigris is not the fortress world that Tikhonov was, we will not have the luxury of having the full might of all eight Lancer regiments on our side. For this campaign, it's just us and the third. So watch each other's backs and don't do anything reckless. Marshal Davion, do we have any intel on our op four? Mio Intelligence reports Warrior House Hiritsu and Kur intruders have been stationed on Tigris for years with direct support from Laurel's Legion, a mercenary battalion with direct ties to the ruling family of Tigris. Beyond that, we have no intel on if those units are stationed here at full strength or only have a handful of battalions stationed here on garrison duty, so our best estimates range from one to three regiments worth of hostiles in system. That's quite a range, sir. All the more reason to tread carefully, Mech Warrior. Continue to follow the marked nav point route to our planned encampment site. Once we've set up a foothold within the system, we'll send out recon squads to see what is what. So yeah, now that he's done talking, Kara, uh, I'm doing pretty well. We're doing well. Decided to play some Mech Warrior instead of East, although I do, I did finally get East working. I figured out why um, that was not working yesterday. <laughs> I was using the wrong emulator. I'm getting some heavy sensor disruption. Could be the Liao scouting our formations. So I'm purposefully not going at full throttle here. I want the um, other Davian units to stay ahead of me here. Let them take the incoming, the initial fire. Now we'll get speed. Contact. I have multiple heavy contacts lighting up across the board. I mean, I can't. identifies them as Kerr's intruders, Liao's premier assault regiment. All Lancers, weapons free. Incoming hostile mech. Damn it, you're walking right into me, buddy. Fine. Never mind. We'll go after this one. Looks like those Ravens weren't scouting our forces, but screening the intruders' numbers. Why am I reading Davian serial codes on these hostiles? The Confederation lost much of their domestic assault mech production back in the Second Succession War. 
Kerr's intruders makes up for that by fielding large amounts of Davy and Salvage. The guys are in the way. Easier said than done. Hold the sensor jamming. Takes care of that. <laughs> Physics on that got a little off, though. <laughs> Yeah, the SRMs in this uh, Archer really do wreak some havoc. Oh, a couple of our uh, allied friends are a little lost. You can even see that Atlas all the way back there. God damn it, they're not going to come over here, are they? Well, that sucks. At least we have one friendly unit with us. But yeah, I wish I could command the other unit. Lose target lock on it. Hide behind the rock face here. Let's go behind it if we can. Let's see if I can go over here and get a good shot at its back. That would be nice. Let's maneuver around here. Yeah, didn't do what I wanted it to do. Kind of uh, took a chance there with the heat. <laughs> oh, we've got another unit back there. Fucking Raven. The intruders might have gotten the jump on us, but we are not out of this fight. Keep on them, Lancers. I mean, we survived that ambush just fine. Is there, is there anybody else that I lost that I'm not aware of? Still says survive ambush. I don't see anybody. I think we're fine. Let's proceed. I think we're alright. But yeah, our, our friendly ally units are totally out of position. That's unfortunate. being so far ahead of everybody. God damn it. That's why I didn't want to be so far ahead of everybody. That fucker rejected. Yeah, I thought he'd go forward. Fucked up. It's enough out of you. All right, finally, everybody else has joined us. <laughs> I love the music in this part. Good shit. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't keep going. I would have been, it would have been like four on one there. That would have been terrible. <sighs> nice headshot there, Seraph. Oof. Feel like there's more though. Let's uh and get these guys. Uh, 
good. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Xenomorph eggs? I'm actually gonna go this way. I know I'm taking a roundabout route, but I'm hoping to get uh, the other friendly Fedcom units to follow me. That Atlas is just hanging out at the very, very end. Wasting its AC-20 and SRMs. Goddamn. Yeah, whoever, whatever pilot is piloting that Atlas needs to be fired. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm inclined to go up here. Let's get some high ground. Even though the nav point is over there. Here they come. Yep, that's the problem. Yeah, we got a couple of light mechs. Come on, I just want to get in so that my friendlies will actually be able to... Good. Let's run to this cover here. Good, thank you. Actually, fire at these guys. Thank you. That's the position I want to be in. Let's deal with you. That's, that's the problem when you have this shit going on. Let's go with you. Ah, I thought he got you. Okay, we handled that okay. you can find, but let the rest of them go. The third is counting on us to be in position for our joint assault. We need to save our manpower for the fight ahead. Continue along to the marked nav points. We still need to reach and secure our forward operating base. And we did. Great work, Commander. We took a beating, but crippling Kerr's intruders takes a key Liao assault battalion off the board. You've provided a great service to House Davy on this day. This should make our engagements with the elite warrior house troops easier. All right, we made another three million sea bills. So I could take an enforcer, which I don't have any of. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just take the enforcer, call it a day. Yeah, this, this is a problem. When I'm doing this damage and my allies are only doing this. That is a fucking problem. This is what I'm typically dealing with with this game. And I don't know why the AI is so bad. <laughs> it is amazing how bad the AI can be in this game. My goodness. Uh, I want to go to Battle Max first. Sorry. Let's uh, carry you. Carry you. Fortunately, we, we didn't really take a lot of damage and we'll do that for cantina operations that'll be nice i think we've got oh collect three raven mechs actually we're seeing a bunch of ravens so maybe i should do mech collector shit maybe we should do this one let's take a look operations do we have any objectives that we haven't done yet we've done that yeah let's abandon this battle master and yeah, we'll do... Let's collect three ravens, because we're seeing a bunch of those. So yeah, let's do it. Let us do it. Sweet. Yeah. I wish I had done that. Well, we don't know if it was there before. All right, mission briefing time. Lancers, fantastic work, fantastic work demolishing CARES Industries. Or CARES Intruders, rather. Crushing a premier Liao assault command is no easy feat, even for the best mech regiments out there. Our success is a testament to all of your hard work and training throughout the past year. A successful ambush like that could have utterly destroyed us, but even with our significant losses, everyone should be proud that they rose to the challenge and fought off oblivion together. Unfortunately, our brothers and sisters in the third were not so fortunate. Their battalion had been held close to their DZ by relentless assaults from Warrior House Hiritsu and Laurel's Legion. Make matters worse, 
Their meal liaisons, liaisons believe that both units are massing their forces with the remaining survivors of Kerr's intruders to make a play at overrunning their position. Marshal Pedroza believes that the third still has the manpower to hold the line on her own, leaving our main objective, Sige Jinshi, open for assault. We have an opportunity to take the city with minimal bloodshed while the third holds their line. So once Leo commits to their attack, that'll be our signal to move against our objective. Commander, your forces are in better shape than the rest of the battalion, so you will spearhead an assault against a centralized power plant whose fusion generators power the entire region. Blacking out the region's power will put pressure on Mandrisa Laurel to surrender the planet without further bloodshed. The remaining Lancers will run a support role in this operation, securing the perimeter to prevent hostile reinforcements. Good luck. Let's do this. And uh, this is also where the DLC gets pretty uh, <laughs> pretty out of control. <laughs> this is where shit really, really gets started. Yeah. Ready up. Let's do this. Well, that didn't Marshall take long. Avian, loud forces are making their move. You're clear to make your play. Roger, Marshal Pedroza. Okay, Commander. Our brothers in the third cruisers are now defending a Liao counteroffensive. While they hold Confederation forces at bay, we're clear to make our play against the four cities. The region is dependent on a Can't number see it. of large fusion generators that power the entirety of the grid from a centralized uh. power plant. In order to minimize civilian casualties, you guys already get we that want one? your lands Perfect. to move quickly and neutralize these generators. Make your way to the Mark Nav point and destroy all the Mark generators. My forces will move to blockade the city and draw out existing defenders. Good luck, Commander. Some of don't sit right with me. I'm taking out the fusion generator just means a more suffering for these people. Don't we consider this our most humane option. Our hope is to avoid the potential bloodshed of two whole mech regiments descending into the city to defend it. By having a single lance take out the generators, we're hopeful that Mandrissa Laurel will surrender her world. That's going to be a problem in a second. There's the power plant, Commander. Let's Shit. get to work. Target one down, that turret. one to the next. Target Jackson, help her into a legion mech force that's broken through our lines. We need help immediately. Damn it. Jesse, I'm rerouting our heavy battalion to assist. They should be at your location in 15 minutes. Try to hold out till then. Commander, I need mm. to break our blockade to help the third, so be advised. Enemy reinforcements may break through. Hit that thing. Damn it. Gotta take it. Yep, damn it. I went for it. Come on. I know, that was stupid. I shouldn't have gone for it. And we got it that time. Come on, guys. Go with that. Deal with that. Damn. Overheating like a crazy person. No, don't hit me. Damn, fucker. Jesus, what a shit show. Fuck. Let's hide over here. Maybe I can dodge this thing while my mech cools off. Doesn't even look like it's going after me. Good. All right. But guys, go after that thing. Why are you... Why are you so dumb? I shouldn't have to tell you this. Got it. Alright, now. Time to shoot that urban mech. Oof. Alright, well, let's grab this. Man, that was dicey. We survived it. Yeah, this mission gets chaotic. Very, very chaotic. Now we get to destroy a bunch of this shit. Yeah, 
And it's kind of hard to get to some of these. But yeah, we got to destroy every generator we can find. And some of these are hard to do. Oh, looks like we got that one. There it is. That becomes a very critical decision. Did we get that? Did we get that damn thing? Where is the treasure? There it is over here. Well, let's do it. We're gonna have reinf we're gonna have fucking company in a second. Let's see what we just got. And it's true. Now we got to deal with these reinforcements. Shit. I'm gonna overheat. Let's go over this way. Pull off. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What is going... Where is over here? Why can't I see it? There it is. Shit. Man, that was a fucking... This is always such a shit show. Fucking Marauder 2. Yeah, that archer has got a that archer's a problem. Are you guys just standing around? Destroy that fucking mar mad cat, dude. What are you guys doing? Damn it. That archer's lighting us up. Damn. But at least we destroyed the freaking Marauder. Alright, now we gotta destroy that archer. Have I actually doing your jobs, guys? Yeah, if you're gonna hang out over there, we will just continue to lob LRMs at you. Yeah, let's go deal with it. Um, well, it might come back after us. Oof. Okay, but other than a little armor. So granted, one of the things I, I don't like about this mission is there's some really interesting uh, convo going on there that's very easy to miss because you've got enemy reinforcements landing at you and you can't really concentrate sometimes of the development on that, but that's kind of a big deal. The uh, Them getting the code book is terrible. You're good. You guys have got that under control. It's three to one. You really should be able to deal with that. There should be another one over here. Got it. Let's get the hell out of here. I think we got that archer now. Wow, that archer is still cooking? It's on the other side of that building, though. I can't get to it. I think the, it's just going to hit the building. Yeah, it's going to hit the building. It's three on one. How do you guys not... How have you guys not killed that archer yet? What are you guys doing? Do I have to come over here and kill this archer for you? Or did you finally get it? Did you finally get the archer? They may have finally gotten the archer. But I'm half expecting to come over here and finding it. Yeah, I guess they did finally get the archer. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing it. If that archer were over here, we'd think we'd see it by now. Okay, yeah, we got it. <laughs> Those who sit in the corner do nothing, get turned into nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. So yeah, you guys can see what I'm talking about as far as like alpha and beta comparisons from uh, Alien Fireteam. The AI is, uh, your lance mates, they're just not very helpful. It's much better if you have friends playing this with you. Who could actually do intelligent things? And that's with me doing that whole F1, F1 constantly to tell them, no, 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 guys, attack that thing. <laughs> like, that actually helps when you micromanage the AI. Can you imagine how useless these guys would be if I weren't micromanaging them? That's a tall ask. <laughs> All right, so we got one Raven already. May as well take that bourbon mech. Yeah, I don't see. It. We'll just take that urban mech. Cool. Good. And you guys continue to level up. That is excellent. At least it didn't take much damage. Oh, we didn't tell it taking out any uh missile carrier units or demolisher units, huh? Huh? I mean, we're dealing with a bunch of these. Harasser units. We're dealing with a bunch of these. You know what? Let's go. Let's go in here. We haven't faced any of these. Let's abandon this. Let's go in here and do this because taking and man, we're facing a we're getting a lot of blackjacks our way. Maybe I should try it. Actually, collect two blackjack mechs. We may already have blackjacks. Hello there. Greetings, Rob. How are you, my friend? No, but we could do that. I don't think there are any other objective logs. We're just playing uh, through Legend of the Kestrel Lancers here. We just picked that up. We just picked that up. Kill 12 urban mechs. We're moving right along. Okay, everything else we're going to keep. So let's... I always do that. I don't know why I keep going right to the mission instead of battle mechs. So let's... Wait, what was that? Repairs? It was a little brief, little weird pop up with that, wasn't there? Or am I, or am I crazy? Okay, I must be crazy. I don't see anything all that weird about that. How's your weekend going so far, Rob? Good to see you as always. Let's put that urban. Oh, I don't need to put that urban mech over there. Um, oh yeah, we'll keep that raven. Fuck it. We de we definitely need to collect the ravens. But that urban mech will sell. Yep, we'll collect some money for that. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, battle mechs. Good, everything else is prepared. Marvelous. It'll take 11 days, but otherwise, not crazy. Ah, alright, just got back, waiting for dinner. Yes! So, in amongst the chaos of all that, it was very easy to miss some of the uh, dialogue and why it might be important. And so, while we were in the city, taking the cities and um, destroying those fusion generators as per the mission parameters, the other attack did actually go down. The problem is, they uh, the enemy, the Liaos, managed to get um, what's-her-name's codebook, which is absolute unmitigated disaster and so that's what that chaos was kind of going down in the middle of all that so anyway now marshall jackson davian's going to go into more detail on that so lancers i won't miss words we're in a nightmare scenario how saritsu's elite commandos were able to raid marshall perjoza's command center and get away with her battalion's encrypted ministry of information intelligence operations code books it's almost like you know the leo is getting the enigma machine <laughs> at this point now they could read all of our mail so if decrypted, House Liao will be able to decode House Davian wideband comm chatter in any transmissions sent into any Comstar facility on occupied planetary networks. The entire security of Operation Rat could be in jeopardy. Our Miao liaison believes that the encrypted codebook data packets are now in the hands of, uh, of the Makroskova, the Capellan State Intelligence Service. 
Our spies have reported that since the start of the war, the Mascarova have been struggling to keep up and verify the flood of reports and information pouring into Sion every day. The head of the Mascarova crisis team, Justin Cheng, is said to have instigated rules requiring local and regional verification of any new intelligence data before being forwarded to Sion to ensure the verified critical intel to the capital isn't buried by a mountain of minor unverified reports. It's actually really good news because they're actually not going to get the absolutely critical piece of information this that they could now potentially get. Because of this, our Meow liaison believes that the codebooks will stay on Tigris until they're decoded or verified by some other means, which means that there's still hope that we can still intercept the third Crucis' stolen codebooks before they're allowed to transmit them to Sion. Commander, we cannot allow those codebooks to get off world. Once we identify the location of the Mascarova, we'll need to act swiftly and eliminate any data relay satellites that can transmit the codebook data packs to a jump ship or Comstar. I'll need your unit to be ready at a moment's notice the second we identify where they're holding those codebooks. Prepare your lands for rapid deployment the moment we can verify the facility that is ho housing the codebooks. Unfortunately, I won't be able to commit additional forces to reinforce you for this mission, Commander. The Kestrel Lancer's primary objective of bringing the system into the fold has not changed. And for now, House Haritsu and Laurel's region Legion still maintain control of Tigris. I'm trusting that you and Rihanna are the only ones capable of getting this done without much support from the rest of the Second Crucis. Don't let us down now, Commander. I guess that's what they're paying us for. And to be fair, they are paying, they're paying very, very well. We went into this, I think, at 40 million sea bills, and we're already at 55. So we're, we're certainly making our money from all this. Get this out. Yeah. Sure, we'll take a little extra damage coverage. Confirm. Ah, my archer won't be ready before the mission start, though. So, what are we going to take in instead? I actually like the rest of this unit the way it is. So I think I'm going to actually come in with this Marauder. I think I'm going to switch. Unless I go in with the Warhammer here. I could just take the Warhammer. But I'm inclined to take this. Uh, I'm inclined to take the Marauder instead. I'm actually more inclined to take the Marauder. here. I think I'll uh, let's give this Marauder a try. I like it. Let's do it. Wait nine days for mission start? Yes. <laughs> that was such a great movie, Darkstar. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at our weapon groups for this thing. Uh, no. EPCs need to be on one. That large laser is going to be on two. And these will be set for that. I think that's a good go with that. For that, should be fine. All right. We should be good to go here. All right? Did I just do that correctly? I did apply. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Commander, it's of the utmost importance that you stop the Maskedovka from decrypting those code books. With them, they can decrypt our reports and significantly stifle Operation RAD security, putting not just our lives, but all Federated Sun's forces at risk. Our Mio liaison has relayed the locations of known Maskadovka relay stations in the system's capital of Jen Feng. We need them destroyed ASAP before they decode and transmit the data to Comstar. They'll know what we're up to the second we start taking down their relay stations. So timing is of the utmost importance in this mission, Commander. Good luck. So they say that, but I don't think timing is actually all that important. They get they get everything taken out anyway. Enemy mech in the area. Damn it. Large target engaged. See it. Totally missed that one. Completely whiffed on that shot. 
completely oh god damn it i'm caught can't go that way apparently well, i think i can i just whiffed it there we go wasted you you son of a bitch i didn't miss that shot We got a fucking mech on our backs. Shit. Okay, good. You got it. No, you don't. Oh. Target is being lit up. Got that one. Destroy. Target acquired. Good. You guys are shooting the Phoenix Hawk. Thank you. Come on. Damn it. Go smoked. New target, Phoenix Hawk. Got that one. Come on. There we go. <laughs> mech eliminated. Good job. All right. This mech isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So I can just hang out here and just keep shooting it. Why don't I do that? We'll wait for see if anything comes out to see us. Yep, I don't know which one it is. Deal with that one. <laughs> but unfortunately, it really doesn't matter how fast you take out these satellites. Shooting at me. Fine. Get this asshole. Direct hit on its torso. Avoiding me. So we just fine. I'd rather go after the blackjack here. Blackjack. Getting picked apart by these little assholes. Ah, I can't hit it from here. Let me direct this way. Hit you with that? Good, I can hit you with that. Alright, let's do it. I didn't want to generate that much heat, but had to deal with that asshole. Ah, oh, fuck Christ. You're dead. Alright, did somebody get the VTOL behind me? It looks like you did. Good. Boom! Good job. That was a team effort. Oh, critical hit, but I didn't destroy it. Somebody got it. Not necessarily me, but somebody got it. Right, deal with, uh... I don't even know which one is the target here. I think we got that one, but maybe there's another? that one. Target 
<laughs> We're actually making pretty quick work of these uh of these satellites. All things considered. Come on, give me the Oh, there are like four of them in this location. <laughs> An entire freaking satellite array. See anything else up on uh, scopes here? Come on. I almost got it. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Yes. Target destroyed. The package is in the hands of Comstar. Your illegal annexation of Capellan territory ends now. All right, Commander. Fall back. The Lancers will soon be able to spare a mech company to deal with this rabble later. Return to base and we'll plan our next moves. The Marauder's not a bad mech though, I like this. I don't know if I've actually gotten a chance to really pilot a Marauder in this particular game, but I'm liking it. Wow, oh, that slowed us down a little bit, didn't it? <laughs> One of the mechs that uh, in the lore is kind of referred to as a chicken foot mech because the le the legs go backwards. We are in position. Let's evac us out. Yeah, the Marauder's not a bad backup mech. I like it. It's a lot faster than the Stalker. And it definitely ha handles heat better than the Warhammer does. Yeah, we'll just take that. Fuck it. Nothing else of particular interest. Alright, and we picked up a Zeus. That's a nice assault mech. Alright, Commander, thanks for taking this debriefing with me in private. After your extraction, our support infantry moved to capture all Mascarova facilities. Our MIO liaison has reviewed the intel collected, and we've determined that the Mascarova was ordered to verify their prize before they would be allowed to forward the data packets up to Sion. Thanks to their intervention, they were unable to do so. In their panic, they did the only thing they could do to get the message off-world, transmitting the fully encrypted data packets through Comstar. Under Justin Xiang's mandates, they couldn't forward the package directly to Sion. They needed to forward their reports to their commonalities regional capital for processing and verification. Normally, this would have been taken off, had we not already conquered it. So instead, they were forced to transmit the packages to the capital of their neighboring commonality. They've transmitted the codebooks to Sarna. Little do they know that Sarna is already a marked target for the fifth wave of Operation Rat. House Davian COC has just decided that the 5th Certus Fusiliers and a pair of mercenary battalions will be the units that take Sarna. The Fusiliers are already looking for some payback after the Liao, after the Liao ambassador to New Certus kidnapped Duke Michael Hesek Davian 15 days ago when CID attempted to arrest the ambassador for espionage. Commander, I'm invoking your position within the Kestrel Lancers as a special operations battle mech company and ordering you to assemble your troops and prepare to depart for Sarna on your own. With Marshal Pedroza injured, she has been recalled to New Avalon to report to the MIO director, Quintus Allard, to alert him of our situation personally. In her absence, I'm needed here to secure Tigris with the rest of the second and third Crucis. Unfortunately, the only support I can give at the moment is a freshly repaired Zeus whose pilot was KIA during the Carrier's intruder's ambush. While I'm still attempting to charter a jump ship route for this task, be ready to depart from Tigris in no more than seven days. I'll have more information for you prior to your departure. Until you meet up with the 5th Certus Fusiliers, you'll be on your own. So prepare your forces for anything and everything. Make sure you stock up on provisions from the market and begin all refits and repairs prior to leaving Desarna. We'll discuss further details when I have them. So yeah, we were we will collect all of this. And these are good tier weapons, man. These are really fantastic tier weapons. 
So we're just going to repair. I think we're just going to repair that. We're not going to do anything special with that. Let's change the load out of this. This is a good opportunity. Let's repair this, but let's also take a look because this mech has not been getting rocked very much. Let's try and upgrade some of these PPCs, shall we? We got four tier three PPCs. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put tier four PPCs in this puppy. If you're actually surviving, that's a fairly significant fo uh, firepower advantage. We'll do that. Yeah, let's upgrade you. We're keeping you. I think you're still okay. Yeah, we'll just repair all. Start work. Because the medium lasers on the arms, that's what's most likely to get blown off. You've been okay so far. But maybe... Just maybe... I feel brave enough to upgrade some of these things. Let's go take a look at the LRM-20s. Oh, we really don't have any good LRM-20 stuff yet. We're picking up a decent number of medium lasers. Got 11 medium laser tier 3s. <sighs> good question. Good question. Or do I take out the medium lasers, put medium pulse lasers in the center torso... You know, that might actually be a better... That might be a better AI mech for this, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. What do we got for medium pulse lasers? We got a couple of pretty decent medium pulse lasers. That might be better. They do one extra damage, but they've got... Um, the rate of fire is better. Heat 225, 2.6, so not great, but it firing two of these is about five, whereas it firing these is, is about, is closer to 10. And the AI is much more risk averse to that. So you know what? Let's take out those. And let's put in pulse lasers for you. Or do I substitute it with those just tier one ones? That way I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, let's do that. I'd rather... At least this way I won't cry. <laughs> Alright, we're back up to that. Firepower might be down a little bit. But it'll it'll cool it'll keep this a little cooler. I think that'll be better. Plus the AI should be keeping its distance and just opening fire with LRMs more often anyway. So let's start work on you. Yep. That'll do. That'll be a good upgrade for you. Do I want to upgrade anything on this? I don't think so. I think we'll leave this. I think we'll leave this as is. Although those SRM4s might not be such a bad idea. I think we've got a couple of good SRM4s. Shadowhawk. Sorry, bear with me while I do logistics here. <coughs> this is kind of just a second line of defense, just in case I get really jacked up. The Zeus is actually a fairly decent mech. This is fairly decent. This might actually be a better alternate mech for me, rather than the, um... Rather than the Marauder. 368. Yeah. Wow, it has the same armor as a Marauder. Well, it's only five t five tons more. Kind of surprised, actually. But I think the Zeus ends up having a better firepower advantage. Plus, it's got really good range. You could be a decent sniper with that Zeus. That AC5, you can hit shit from very far away with it. So combined with that large laser and LRM-15, you can you can be a pretty decent sniper in that thing. Though well, the Orion's pretty good too, but eh. let's take a look. Let's go with let's take a look at the loadout of this. Let's see what we can do. The only thing I don't like about the Zeus is that the freaking LRM-15 is on its arm. That is that is not great. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just leave it. 
Just in case I get really fucked up. We'll, we'll leave that alone. Now this I may revisit. This might be good to revisit and use as our mech. Because we could put machine guns back in it. And use it as ours. But I can't see a scenario where I go and have that again with a Warhammer. That's so easy for its armor to get blown up. Okay. I think we're okay here. I do believe we are all right here. Let us... Yeah, we're fine with this. Depart. All right, Commander, I've tried contacting both the COC and the Fusiliers to alert them to our plight. But since their impending invasion of Sarna is considered top secret, their entire unit is operating under a communications blackout until they secure Sarna. But by that time, it could be too late for us. We will need to dispatch you to Sarna on your own. Your mission will be to link up with the 5th Sulir Sirtis Fusiliers Combat Commander, General Gordon Hearthstone, or the Battlemac Regiment Commander, Colonel Anthony Harkness, and deliver this uh, vertigraphed message from myself explaining our situation. Once you've made contact with them, your objective on Sarna is to find the location of Sarna's Mascarova headquarters and demolish it before they can decrypt the 3rd Crucis codebooks. See if General Hearthstone or Colonel Harkness can spare some forces to support you once you've made contact. Unfortunately, due to Sarna's distance through hostile space and with jump ship availability being in short supply, the best we can muster for you is a route that will take over three months before you arrive at Sarna, and another 16 days traveling from the jump point to the planet itself. By the time you touch down, it'll be almost a month after the Fusiliers have initiated their invasion of the planet. If everything goes well, by the time you reach Sarna, they should have a strong foothold already established in system. Commander, until you make contact with the Fusiliers, you'll be on your own with no support. Lovely. So I need to ask, are you absolutely sure you have all your mechs and equipment queued for refits during your journey? I have no idea what the situation on Sarna will look like by the time you arrive, so be extra sure that you have collected all needed provisions prior to departing. Godspeed, Commander. Contact me immediately once your objective is complete. Yep, let's do it. We've got a couple of backup mechs that should be ready. Sarna. Capital system of the Sarna commonality, and one of the jewels of the Capellan Confederation. For centuries, Sarna had been a beacon of industry and technological sophistication, once housing large populous cities across all of its continents, feeding a healthy commercial manufacturing industry. But, like the rest of the Inner Sphere, the succession wars brought death and destruction to Sarna. Today, although it's only a shadow of its former self, it remains an important world. Its aerospace and dropship manufacturing centers, combined with its centralized location in Kaplan space, have made it a prime target for the Federated Sun's ongoing invasion of the Confederation. House Davion has charged the elite Fifth Sirtis Fusiliers with taking Sarna. In order to complete our mission, we will first need to make contact with their commanding officers General Gordon Hartstone and Colonel Anthony Harkness. But something seems to be wrong. Although we jumped into the system seven days ago, I have not yet been able to hail anyone on the wideband Federated Sons command channel. I'm getting nothing but silence every time I try. Even more disturbing, the local news is reporting that the Fusiliers have attacked and destroyed Sawyer's HPG relay station which has cut the system out of contact with the rest of the Inner Sphere, spreading panic among Sarna's populace. Our mission to recover the stolen Mio codebooks is far too important for us to abandon. Whatever the odds, we must make contact with the 5th Sirtis Fusiliers and request their assistance in finding and destroying the stolen codebooks. Otherwise, the entire security of Operation Rat could be compromised. Let's just hope we're not too late. Yeah, attacking a Comstar HPG, HPG station, that is such a no-no. <clears throat> I mean, I would make the argument that it's almost suicide. But at the same time, politically, that is a disaster. So let's take a look at the black market. See if there's anything good here. Ooh, we could get a tier 4 AC20. Although that's 4 million C bills. But we're racking up the we're actually racking up uh the money here, so I might it might actually be worth doing. Assault battle axe. Wow, that does 80 fucking damage. Jesus. Although it takes seven tons. 
But, uh, goddamn. Sultana. I'm actually tempted to pick up some of these. Oh, I already have a heavy hammer fist. That does 20. And it basically does the same. I am kind of curious about that. Sure. Let's buy one Assault Katana just to have. I guess it's on sale. That's a good price for that PPC. Let's do it. Sweet. Okay. Back market. I don't think there's anything in here that we really need. We're still trying to collect everything. Although we could buy a freaking Victor. <laughs> Although our our experience with even the Hero Victor was very very bad. Uh, that thing just got fucking wrecked. It was, uh, that was an unmitigated disaster. Let's just go to the mission. All right, Rihanna, what's our, what's our briefing? We're on our final approach to Sarna, and I'm still getting nothing on the Davian command channel. I'm also picking up a large amount of space debris in shallow orbit right outside Sarna's exosphere. It looks to be to the debris of a number of destroyed dropships or satellites, but they're too small to make out any discernible origin. Wait a minute. Commander, I'm just beginning to get a read on the 5th Sirtis Fusilier's encoded channel. It's incredibly faint. They appear to be sending an SOS. The message is only a single set of coordinates accompanied by a simple repeating text transmission. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the 5th Sirtis Fusilier's calling for assistance from any forces loyal to the Federated Sons. We are in need of assistance at the following coordinates. No holovid, no audio, and no declaration of any kind of identification. And the signal on this is so faint... I can't even get a read on anything beyond the text transmission and the coordinates. I don't like this, Commander. I don't like this one bit. Unfortunately, these coordinates are the only lead we have at finding the Fusiliers, and we need those codebooks and their help, or everything will be lost. If this signal is legitimate, we'll need to assist the Fusiliers and make contact with General Hearthstone or Colonel Harkness if we're going to have any hope of completing our mission. But be extremely cautious, Commander. This is all the makings of a trap to lure Davian loyalists into an ambush. I would not risk our most effective mechs until we have a better idea for what's going on. If it's as bad as it looks, we're going to need to prepare for the long haul. So we're going to continue. Oh, we could actually go... So at this point, now we actually have some interesting decisions to make. I think we go max salvage shares here. Because we're still making two and a half million sea bills, which is usually what I like to make when I'm going into a mission. I think we're okay here. Let's go with our Agincourt here. Or Agincourt. Whatever. Uh, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. I know she said don't bring in our most valuable shit, but at the same time, uh, if we don't bring in our A game, we shouldn't expect to come out of things very intact. So let's do this. Let's land and find out what we're, what kind of shit show we're walking right into. Ah, there. It's one of the more tanks. Destroy it. And predictably, we're dropping into a shit show. But we knew that. We knew that coming into things. Disarray caused by the Comstar HPG relay station's destruction has allowed us to land on Sorna undetected. But I'm still not getting any responses on the Federated Sun's wide band. The only thing we're detecting is a faint SOS signal from the 5th Sirtis Fusilier. I've marked its approximate location on your HUD. If there are any Federation forces out there, we need to make contact with them ASAP if we are to have any hope of surviving this deep into Kaplan territory. But be on your guard, Commander. This SOS signal could be a trap. I mean, it certainly reads like a trap, right? <clears throat> Now let's stay on this side. I don't like the idea of going down into that area. 
I always prefer high ground. What are those mechs doing? You guys see that, right? In, in the lower end of the map? Like, they're just spinning. What are you guys doing? You guys got stuck. That's what happened there. So let's get you out. Okay, it looks like at this point... Looks like now we can. Let's try this again. This time without the weird idiocy. <sighs> I swear I spend half my time holding my AI. It's a feature, right, Ghosty? <laughs> Oh my goodness. So the first time I played this game, I didn't realize you could toggle between your mechs. So anytime one got stuck, I'm just like, well, I'm one mech shy <laughs> and just kind of like accepted it. Hello, cat. Oh, kissy kissy. I love you too, kitty kitty. What you doing, honey? Um, yeah, I don't like this one bit. Hello, baby girl. Oh, I love you too. I love you too. What's up, honey? that a little easier. All right, well, I guess we're going down this way. They appear to be members of the Fusiliers, transmitting IFF frequencies to them now. Let's go up and introduce ourselves. Incoming mechs, stay where you are. Your IFF says you're with the second cruise's Lancers. Why are the Lancers here on Sarna? The Lancers aren't here in force, it's only us. We are here on special assignment from Marshal Jackson Davion. We have an urgent matter to discuss with General Hearthstone. He's gone. We believe he's been KIA. What about Colonel Harkness? Definitely KIA. His Marauder was bombarded by Inferno missiles. When he tried to punch out, Inferno Gel poured into his cockpit and burned him alive. Who's in charge here, then? You're looking at her. Captain Alana Damu, 5th Certus Fusiliers, 1st Battalion. And as much as I would love to know why you're here, that is going to have to wait. We've got bigger problems at the moment. We're waiting on our salvage teams to strip this gazelle for any surviving provisions. We're not going to make it much longer if we can't salvage as much of its supplies as we can. Right, Ghosty? A little comic relief between stressful missions. <laughs> Alright, Rob, have a good one. We'll see you when you get back. They must have tracked your approach here. Lancers, my men are exhausted and stretched to the brink. I cannot afford to lose any more of them. Help us fight through this with minimal losses, and I'll see what I can do about helping you with your special assignment. We're on this, Captain. But the easiest way up is thinking the easiest way up is this way. I was about to run up that other way, but uh, you know what? Fuck. This is too far over. Yep, here they come. Fuck assholes. Oh my god. Let's. Maybe there's a way up over here? Shit. Nope. Not unless I have jump jets. Fuck. Alright, maybe we'll just. Maybe we'll just hang out over here and maintain a. Uh, Defensive no. posture here. Our dropship support was destroyed in low orbit shortly after we made planet fall. We've been tracking down and salvaging whatever support. Yeah, they're coming over this way. I was right the first time. Dropships we could find. I'll be straight with you. After a solid month of dodging hostile forces, we're on our last legs. What happened here? Sarna was a trap. Our neo intelligence was completely inaccurate. They said that the system was only defended by a few regiments of militia with possible light mech reserve support. What we ended up getting was all four regiments of McCarran's armored cavalry. They waited for us to make planet fall before attacking our dropship as they tried to return to a low orbit, trapping all of us on this block. Hi, honey. Give me one second, Cleo. I love you. pinned us against the Grey River and slaughtered everyone. Only a handful of us were able to make it out. If we don't secure these supplies, we won't last much longer. What you see here is pretty much all that's left of the 5th Sardis Fusiliers. We're on it, Commander. Commander target received. 
Hello, cat. What you want? Who's a good girl? Oh, we got more. But <laughs> oh, wait, there are more. <laughs> Be able to lock into it now. Yep. Oh, damn it. Leo, I love you. What you want? I'm not entirely sure what you want, but I love you. Uh, yeah, let's deal with you. If I can get a better shot. There we go. Okay, now that we dealt with that. Hi, honey. Hello, Cleo. Hello, Cleo. Let's let's go. Back. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Hello. That, no, 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 no. You can't go back there. Why do you want to go back there? No. There's nothing but trouble for you back there. You want some water? You want some water? Come here, Jack. Guy, I know everybody loves you. You're a good girl. You've been a total asshole today, though. <laughs> Hello, cat. Who's adorable? Who's my adorable kitty kitty? Hello, cat. Hi. I love you. What's up, cat? Oh, my God. Sure, rub up. You can rub up against it just fine. Just keep that jaw of yours closed. Little miss. Hi. Oh my goodness. We've got fur everywhere. You are shedding like a beast cat. <laughs> I guess I'm taking a break while I pet the cat. She requires attention. Hello, kitty kitty. Hello. Hi. I know. I have such a tolerance for all this but no you can't be back there you can't be back there it's just cables it's just cables honey you can't be back there you have all this space you have all this space honey come here come here why are you in this like tightly confined space where you have all this area you could stretch out get come on back no there that's a better place for you that is a much better place for you <laughs> Speed of comic relief. <laughs> there you go. Get a drink, cat. How is everybody? <laughs> since since I'm being forced to take a break here with the cat here. Hi, honey. Are you a good girl? No. No. Twitch, twitch, tail, twitch. Hold on. Need a pet, baby girl? My massive cat. I actually should measure her at some point. I think she's actually two feet long. Um, or at least if she's not. She's close to it. And then when she stretches out with her paws, she's like three feet long. She is a massive, massive cat. <laughs> it is amazing how fast she is. I don't think she wants to be fed again, but it's possible she wants more food. Do you want more food, honey? Or are you just looking for attention? Are you just looking to cause chaos? My co-host, ladies and gents and everybody else. <laughs> oh, my. My, my, my. Hello, Cleo. Good girl. All of the above. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> Just post some my food coma. That must have been a big burger if you're in a food coma, ghosty. <laughs> it's like the burgers I'll make. Where they're like half a pound. I know. You're such a good cat. I mean, you're not, but I think you're a good... You have a scratch on your face? Come here. Let me see. Oh, you have a scratch on your face. Oh my goodness, honey. Where'd you get the scratch? What happened? Why do you have a scratch on your face? Hi, I know. I love you too. <laughs> I know. I love you too. Kissy, kissy. Hello, Cleo. Hello. Hello. I know. I know. You want to hang out up here while I play my game? Mm -hmm. You want to hang out? Mm -hmm. You want to hang out or are you just looking to cause trouble? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. There's my cat. Sure, chew on the springs. Those you those those aren't gonna be harmful for you. I think you're an idiot for that, but <laughs> at least that isn't dangerous to you. Hello. 
I mean, <laughs> I blame the heat too. <laughs> yeah, right? But yeah, she loves to just put things in her mouth for some reason. She loves to chew things. I, I know. I know, I know. I know. No, you can't be that way. Nope. Were you just biding your time to before you could make a dart to the monitor? You can't go back there. I don't know why you want to go back there. You can't go back there. I love you. Hi, kitty. Why don't you just sit down? There you go. Sometimes she will just hang out up here and just keep me company, which is nice. I'm my little... I, I feel... I get into, like, evil villain mode when I've got my cat next to me. I'm guessing plastics and stuff she likes to chew on. Not necessarily. I, I think she just likes to... She just likes to chew things. Uh, especially cardboard. But I think that's kind of typical of most cats. She wants to see if she fits. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, she definitely does not fit under the monitor. But last time she got in there, she ended up getting tangled in some of the cables. And that was an adventure uh, to try to pick her up and get her to the point where she didn't um, hurt herself. Hi, Cleo. Okay. Do, do I? Oh, my God. You've got hair all over my keyboard. Wow. Okay. So let's... Maybe what I need to do is just move that. I could, I can, I could probably make this work. I can make this work. I could work around you, cat. All right. So she's, she's purring. She's, she's pretty happy. Why don't I, uh, why don't we just put that up here? There you go. You can lay your head down. There you go. Yeah, I moved my can of coke. You can now put your head there. You want to just lay down, kitty, kitty? Yeah, keep me company. You're gonna be a good girl. I think as soon as I go back to playing this, you're gonna think, aha. And you're going to make a move for the under the monitor. That's what I think is going to happen, cat. I know you all too well. <laughs> I do know this cat. I do know this cat. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I know, kitty, kitty. I know, I know. Yeah, it's okay. Kissy, kissy. All right. You want to chew my hand for a quick couple of seconds before I resume? All right. Get it out of your system now. Hello. Oh, yeah. The chin scratch. Yeah, that's what you want. You got the chin scratch. You want your chin scratch? You come in here to hang out? Or is it five o'clock and you're thinking you're going to get wet food again? You're not getting wet food twice, cat. You already got dinner. You did. I gave you dinner before starting. I know, because I'm a big soft and I gave it to you early. You think you're getting again? You think you're getting again? You're purring like I'm... You know what? Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just take this opportunity to just go down and just feed her some more dry food. Give her a treat. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you want? Okay. Let me do that. <laughs> I think, I think I'm going to, uh, or are you going to hang out with me? All right. Let's try this and see if she just wants to hang out. But if I'm right, she's being, uh, disruptive intentionally with the, uh, idea. You. Okay. We got you. Well, that's an unmitigated shit show. There we go. Come on, we got this. Got it. Handled that ambush just fine. Thank you. Stick around till we're done here, then follow us. We'll talk about Marshal Davian's special assignment for you once we reach our encampment. We're oh, that's a good so kitty, kitty. Keep it suborbital if you need to relocate. The Big Mac will shoot you out of the sky if they think you're assisting us. Whether you like it or not, you're stuck in the trenches with us. Oh, no, it's Rob. Over. Yeah, you like a nose rub. No, oh, good girl. There you go. That's my good kitty. Yeah, I know. Good kitty, kitty. 
You are so spoiled and loved. <laughs> I should actually turn off my uh, my filter. You get you you would probably be able to hear her purring from where she's at right now. <laughs> uh, oh, we couldn't quite get a Marauder, but we can get another Warhammer. Yeah, let's do it. Let's pick up another Warhammer. We'll pick up a PPC X. Yeah, we'll pick up another PPC and. Yeah, sure. Let's take another medium laser short burst. That works. Ooh. 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 I know. Leo, I love you, dude. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. Thanks for watching our backs out there, Commander. Ever since McCarran's killed a majority of the Fusilier on the Great <laughs> River, we've been in bad shape. Lots of the survivors that we found had severe injuries or infections after weeks of surviving off Sardis jungle. But we recovered a handful of mech warriors who are still fit for service after having their mechs blasted out from under them by the armored cavalry. If you don't mind taking on the extra personnel, I'll assign them over to you as you see fit. They're good mech warriors, but I just don't have enough equipment to keep them in this fight. When you're ready, let's see what made Marshal Davian feel the need to send you all the way out here on this hellhole on your lonesome. So yeah, things are... This is a shit show, I've, as you can see. We got ourselves a new pilot. Let's take a look at our pilot here. Ooh. Who's actually not bad. Lieutenant uh, Misato Stabborn. Stabjorn. It's a great It's a great name. They're actually not terrible. They're our weakest mech warrior. Well, slightly better than Freeman. So, it might make sense to substitute out Freeman for uh, Staborn here. Although I do like keeping Freeman if I can. Let's see, we got four. Oh, we've got eight mech warriors at this point. That's really plenty of mech warriors. We really don't need... We don't need eight. So maybe we should just dismiss Staborn here and uh, Freeman, but... Hmm. Take a look at operations. How much am I spending on pilots? Total pilot cost is still under 200,000. Eh. But Freeman's only costing me 12,000. He's not exactly expensive. Although you are expensive. Why are you costing me that much? Yeah, I think we're just going to dismiss that one. Like, I appreciate the free pilot, but no, you're not a good pilot. Let's see what happens here. Let's try and repair you. Nothing's particularly damaged. Now, we're in a conflict zone, so refitting this is going to be expensive. But, it might be worth... Mm, probably not. We already have one Warhammer over there. You know what? Let's just put this Warhammer over here. That way, if we get a cantina of collect two Warhammers, we've got it. All right, Commander, I've reviewed your message from Marshal Davian. Oh, yeah, no. So in case you didn't catch all that, the um, the uh, two people that we were supposed to report to are both dead. <laughs> Everybody's fucking dead here. Uh, whoever did take out the HPZ, yeah, really put the uh, Federated Sons forces here in a real pickle. And uh, so they didn't they didn't destroy it, according to them. Uh, and yeah, it's it's just a. It's an it's just an unmitigated disaster. And so, yeah, Captain Alana Damu is now in charge here. And so she understands the urgency of our mission. But to be completely honest, the Fusiliers are in no shape to help you out. Most of our unit died when McCarran's armored cavalry ambushed us. We've barely kept ourselves alive this past month by salvaging remains as we find them. We aren't in any shape to help out in a straight up fight, let alone track down an enemy spy network on a hostile world. But not everything is hopeless. You see, we still believe that there may be at least one other pocket of Fusiliers out there, the ones that are said to have attacked Comstar's HVG. We've been hoping that they would respond to our SOS, but with all this damn long-range comms jamming, it's next to impossible to get a signal out. I'm actually amazed that you were able to pick it up, probably because your dropship communications gear is much more powerful than your average mechs. That actually gives me an idea. If I can give you the transponder codes our mechs and vehicles use in the field, you should be able to track down those responsible for the HPG attack by using the sensors on your Leopard. I don't know what got in the heads to be dumb enough to attack one of Comstar's HPGs, 
But if they're still alive, we all stand a much better chance at surviving this if we all work together. Safety in numbers and all that. Oh, is there nothing? Okay, that's just the other. Uh, if you help us out here, I promise we'll do our best to support you in completing your mission. I wouldn't worry about those codebooks going anywhere. With the system's HPD down and all commercial dropships grounded, they wouldn't be able to get those codes off world, even if uh, they wanted to. No, 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 no. Hi. No. I'm giving you all this desk space, and you want to be under the monitor. <laughs> Go that way, cat. Hi. 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 Do you, do you want some extra dinner? Is that what you want? Or, or... Because if you just wanted to keep me company, you would have just stayed there and gotten your pet. I was petting her the whole time. Like, that whole reading thing. So this is a good time. This is a good chance for me to pause and just see if I can get this cat what she wants. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't think she wants to just be up here. Am I right, cat? If I go down here, will you? No, don't. Hey, really, cat? Really? I set my I set my headphones down, and she immediately went cat.exe activate and and just knocked them right off the table. <laughs> Come here, you asshole. Are you? Come here, cat.
All right, everybody, I'm back. That's what I think what she wanted. So I, I think I know what happened with her today. I fed her wet food. So I feed her wet food once a day, but um, I fed her early because I knew I was going to stream and I fed her right before starting. So I think what happened is she forgot that I gave her wet food. And as it got closer to her normal time for getting fed, she was just even more and more uh, antsy, shall we say. <laughs> I can almost read her pee brine at the end of that. Like, you know what? That's what that is. She's like, hey, why aren't you feeding me? Why aren't you feeding me? You should be feeding me now. And I'm like, you little shit. I fed you earlier. So that's a lesson on mine. Don't feed her earlier. Um, I'll just I'll just wait till like four or five so that she's not irritated at me for not feeding her when I fed her already. And she's I mean, could have just fed her again. But what I definitely don't want to do is give her the idea that if she's an asshole, I'll I'll feed her multiple times. Uh, that's just going to uh, encourage her to like be very bitey and walk under the monitor and everything else. So anyway, all right, we got that all set up. Okay, I am so sorry, everybody, <laughs> but she's she's happy now. She got she got her treat at least, so she got that. I think that's mostly what she was after anyway. Um, I don't mind giving her that. Trusted. Okay, Let's do that. Ah, uh, I think she's now got it. She's there we go. all right. Perfect. So yep, we're gonna max C bill payout and salvage shares. Let's do this. Mission starts in 37 days. It looks like every one of these mechs is going to be ready. Oh, right. The mission does start in 31 days. It doesn't take 31 days for all these to... Whoa, what the fuck happened there? 14 days? Okay, good. That was not a permanent thing? Wow, that was a really annoying sound, wasn't it? <laughs> so it's going to take 14 days for our mechs to get repaired. Uh, and our mission starts in 37 days. So yes, we will wait because we have to. And let's do this. Plus, they gave me the opportunity to go downstairs. No one give her a little extra dry food. So she got fed. I do that for her all the time. Um, and also gave me an opportunity to wash my face. So hopefully that takes care of the uh, allergy uh, fit I was having. the HPG relay station. I've marked a map with the last known location of the Fusilier's transponders being sent. After they all went rogue. Be sure to be on your guard and watch your backs. McCarran's armored cavalry is still breathing down our necks, looking to finish us off for good. Let's go find our answers. Target acquired. Visual on hostiles. Target destroyed. Took one down. Destroyed. Ah, got it. Target destroyed. I thought I was going to lose target lock, but I didn't. <laughs> Okay, so we dealt with that squad of VTOLs pretty well. See them. Whoever they are, they aren't with the Fusiliers. This is Captain Elena Damu of the 5th Certus Fusiliers. Who the hell are you, and why are you using our transponder signals? Target of life. We serve a purpose much higher than yours, my child. I regret you coming here. Now I'm afraid I cannot allow you to leave this place alive. Die. Knowing your sacrifice will usher humanity into a new golden era. Screw that and screw you! I don't have any plans on dying today, but I do plan on dismantling you imposters piece by piece until you tell me what I want to know. Here, try and cool off a little bit. You. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Okay. Deal Target with you. Destroyed. Okay. Target destroyed. Damn it. That's bad. Confirmed, Commander. Moving on target. That is the only problem is when I have to switch to command them briefly. If I don't hit the key rate and I have to look down. Oh shit. I'm talking instead of paying attention to what the fuck's going on. Ow. Ow. 
get back. Back off from that. Jesus. Good. You guys are continuing to go after that. This way. Shit, shit, shit. I did not want to do that. Bad, Seraph. <sighs> Yo, now we're really nuking this Warhammer. Worth it. That, deal with that fucking war rifleman here. Tall on me. Damn, I missed it. So that got dicey for a minute there. Oof. Yeah, that rifleman was a problem. All right, what else is here? Are we done? Or is there something else here we have to kill? Deal with this shit first. Good, good, good. All right, let's cruise over here. I need to make sure that they can't target my center torso here. with this griffin. I can, oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yep, let's go up this way. Deal with that fucking griffin. Uh, we got VTOLs going with drama. It's crazy here. That's a fairly active imagination you have there. Damn it. The Fired too fast. Kidnapped our Duke and took him to Sion, where Max Liao executed him in cold blood. Duke Hasek Davion was a patriot to the entire Federated Sons and died at the hands of a madman. Come on. Come on. hit. Shit, shit, shit. Good. Thank God we took out that AC-20. Come on. Come on. Power up. I can't let myself get cored here. Man, they're not doing any damage to me except for my center torso today. Oh, fuck's sakes. All right, well, we fucked that thing up pretty bad. Come on. Damn it. Oh, come on. Why didn't you fire at that? You had a lock. Damn it. Okay, we got that one. I lost one of my pulse lasers, though. Good. 
Okay, we got that one. What an interesting series of mental gymnastics you've laid out there. And how might I ask that you know all of this? Got it. Oof. on our scopes. Looks like they're all down. Good. Bring the support infantry out and take in as many prisoners as possible. Rip each and every one of them out of their mechs. I want answers and we aren't going to get any if we don't bring these imposters in alive. Yep, false flag. <laughs> But the idiots hung out by the, uh, still hung out by the HPG station. So yeah, it would suck to lose a medium pulse laser there, but not really the complete end of the world. Let's, uh, recuperate. Let's look at the better, better tier weapons here. Let's take anything that's a higher tier. This is Yeah. Sure, we'll take the mech. And I guess we'll, uh, yeah, let's take the AC-5s. You guys did okay. Yeah, I didn't take all that much damage. It was just all in the center torso, unfortunately. So that part sucked, but at least I kept the mech from getting cored. I actually feel like I did a decent job keeping the mech aimed so that at that point, uh, they wouldn't. As I have noticed the enemy mech. The enemy AI, rather, the enemy mechs. If you do have a particular location that is more damaged than the others, they do seem to aim for it more. Just to almost like almost to spite you. But I mean, it, to some extent you probably should. I probably would do the same thing. Um, but alright, so we collected one Raven already. We've killed a bunch of, we, we're we're racking up urban mechs now. Wow, no other missile carrier units, huh? That's kind of a surprise. And no harasser units? I feel like we built... I feel like we dealt with a bunch of harasser units there. But I guess they're sending just crazy stuff after us instead of the usual bullshit. But alright, let's take a look here. You... I've got problems. But we can replace that medium pulse laser we lost. Alright, this mech will be down for 21 days. But that's not the end of it. Work order exceeds time till next mission. That's okay. Just repair it anyway. <laughs> I'll bring something else. That's okay. Do we have an assassin already? Don't think so. Perfect. We'll grab you. We'll collect you for that. All right. And then I can just choose. I'll probably just go in the Marauder, honestly. Is that Marauder? That Marauder was a pretty good choice. Marauder 368. Yeah, it's got the same armor as the Zeus. That's that's crazy. Speed. Yeah, speed's the same. Yeah, the firepower on the Zeus seems to be a little higher. But again, that LRM-15 being on the arm, that is uh, that is not a good design for an LRM. But I could just tough it out, see how it goes. Could tough it out, just see how it goes. You know what? We'll, we'll ride with that Zeus. All right. Sorry for my emotions getting the best of me out there. Hey, yeah, no, you, you are fine, Captain. You are totally fine. All right. Uh, but whoever that smug son of a bitch on the comms was... He definitely knew all the right buttons to press to piss me off. My mood's greatly improved after I've been told that we were able to pry him out of his mech alive. We got lucky, and he fell unconscious during the battle. We weren't so lucky with his co-conspirators, though. Many of them killed themselves before they could be taken into custody. We got a handful of them, but not as many as I would have liked to capture. Whoever they are, they definitely have top-grade intelligence training. Could be Mascarova or Death Commandos, but honestly, there are some huge holes in that theory. They wanted to trap us here and attack the HPG to frame House Davian in the eyes of Comstar. While the broad strokes make sense, other major details don't. They never once called for Macarians to reinforce them. They have no forms of IDs, they don't act like any Capellan I've ever seen, and most of all, they know things. Things that no Capellan intelligence officer would ever divulge to us. If I'm being honest, the whole lot of them give me the creeps. We've put the survivors under enhanced interrogation and came up with zero answers as to who they are or why they destroyed the HPG, but plenty of seemingly random bits of information regarding Norinaga Kirita, a Liao counteroffensive, plans for a raid against the new Avalon Nais campus, and other things that were clearly way too implausible to be true. Among the random bits of information they did divulge was the location of all Mascarova facilities on Sarna, and confirmation that they did receive a priority message from Tigris months ago. 
They claim it's been buried in a sea of thousands of other reports that began flooding into their offices since the fall of Tikhonov. These must be your lost codebooks, Commander. If it's true, then the Maskarova do have it, but don't know the value of the content they possess. Although we didn't find any additional Fusilier survivors, a deal's a deal, Commander. I'll spare what I can to assist you in a raid against the identified Maskarova headquarters. It won't be much, but with this new intel, it should hopefully be enough for you to get your job done. Alright. So let's continue. And we're going to do another raid. Yep, that works. Okay. So the archer's not going to be ready. The others will be. Marauder. Marauder or Zeus? Marauder or Zeus? Fuck it. Let's give this Zeus a try. I really haven't piloted a Zeus very much. This might be okay. It's at the very least an extremely expendable choice. <laughs> yeah, a tough choice. It is a tough choice, actually. Commander, we were able to learn the location of Sarna's Meskarovka headquarters and support facilities around the capital city of Sarna from our captured imposters. If your stolen code books were delivered anywhere, it would have been at any of the marked facilities for decoding. With the HPG system down, it's fairly safe to assume the code books would not have been able to make it off planet even if they were decoded. So if you can destroy them here, it's unlikely Leo will be able to retrieve them again. We are deep in enemy territory here, so I can only support you with a small team of commandos. They will tail you and verify the destruction of the code books once you destroy the marked buildings. This is your mission, and I need to tend to the Fusiliers and plan our next move. So I'll leave the rest of this up to you and Rihanna. Best of luck. And to you, Captain Damu. I've got nothing to answer that, Commander. So let's get the job done. Weapon groups. Okay. That's going to be fine. That's not. <laughs> uh, let's go with... Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Helps when I have these set properly. And yeah, we got a VTOL going in behind us. I forgot this is timed, so here I am dicking around. Damn, I missed it. Wow, I didn't destroy it? Oh shit, here we go. Damn it. Here. Okay, you're going to jump like that. Come on, Seraph, kill that thing. Oh, you little bastards. Okay, we got that one. Oh, nope. It just disappeared from view. Ah, I'm not going to be able to get to it. We'll wait for it to show up here. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like it takes a lot of damage to take these facilities down. speed on. Actually, the Zeus isn't too bad. I like the fact that it's very heat efficient. Unlike the Marauder, which is really not heat efficient at all. Nice shot, Seraph. Fine. Where's that mech? Spider. 
just in case you guys don't know. Copy. Engage commander target. You guys deal with that. I'm going after the target here. Although this could be a problem. Good. Got that. Yep. Attack lock acquired. Sending the rain. New target blackjack. Moving on last target. Come on. There we go. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, this is good at taking out VTOLs. That's good. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Hey, let's deal with that. You're gonna go behind there? Oof. Man, I'm getting lit up here. Come on. Okay, we got that, fucker. Ah, I shot too early. Way. I wanted to go this way. Damn it. Uh. Yep. I was an idiot. I just lost my freaking... I went the wrong way. Fucked up. Went the wrong way. Um, right. That's where I'm going. Good. Let's get the hell out. Although, actually didn't get all that damaged. I fucked up. I went to the left. I tried to correct to go around the act the other uh, other end. I just went the wrong way. Marauders are good. I don't think I would have lost an armor on the Marauder, honestly. But the uh, the Marauder is a little more heat efficient. I would want to give it a try, though. I definitely wanted to give it a try. I'm, I'm glad I did kind of give it a whirl. Um, one thing about the Zeus is good for it. The Zeus is really good at um, dealing with the other riffraff. Yeah, we'll just do that. But yeah, I lost the LRM that was on it. Not, not a big deal. I'm just going to wait to repair the... Um, the fact that it's not giving me harasser units or missile carrier units is really annoying. Collect two javelin mechs. I think we've got those. Let's do that. Let's go to operations. Let's go to objective logs. Why are you not giving me this? But whatever. Didn't we kill a bunch of ravens already? Oh, do we not have javelins? I thought we had javelins. Oh, we don't have javelins. I thought we have Jenners, not javelins. We already did javelins already. Unless they sell them. They don't sell them. No, okay, fine. We'll just have to abandon that one already. No, we don't have any javelin eggs. Nope, I fucked up. I fucked up. I thought we'd do that one first. And then kill five ravens. Although, we've collected... Three. I haven't seen any other raven mechs since, but since we're collecting ravens, maybe if we do kill five, man, this would have been really nice to have had at the very beginning, because I know we've killed at least three ravens already. They definitely are sending a lot on us. PPC tier four. I think we've got that. PPC tier four. Let's take a look. We already have it.
APC tier four, and we do have three of them. Granted, they're expensive, but we do actually have those. Wow, that's all it's gonna give us in XP? Jeez. I don't think that's a good trade, actually. We could do it, but that doesn't necessarily mean I want to do it. <laughs> You're only going to give me a million sea bills for that? Um, goodness. That's... That doesn't seem like a good play there, does it? But whatever. We'll, we'll be able to get more. Let's do it. Yep. Claim. We will do that. Now we go into the Katina, and let's go with kill five Raven mechs and hope for the best. All right. That Zeus, we're just going to put down here. We're, we're not putting that back in harm's way. It served its purpose. Agincourt should be, be should be ready by the next time. And then if we do need to switch out again, we'll go for the Marauder. I like this plan. Ah, and but we'll be ready in 10 days. Perfect. Congratulations completing your mission, Commander. My commanders reported that the second the Makarov uh, Makarova, uh, Maskarovka saw infantry investigating their destroyed sites, they initiated protocols to destroy everything rather than see Confederation secrets fall into our hands. We were able to capture a handful of random data drives for good measure, but I doubt there's anything of immediate value to us on them. Uh, let's see. On the tabletop game, I always base my build on the Marauders. I mean, it's a great mech. It's one of the iconic, absolutely wonderfully iconic battle mechs. And between a Marauder or a Warhammer, I would much rather be in a Marauder than a Warhammer. It always felt like, even though their primary weapons are on the arms, but for whatever reason, it always felt like the Warhammer would lose its arms um, so much quicker than, than the Marauder. I don't know why. And that's definitely been the case in this game. I cannot pilot a Warhammer without losing an arm, it seems. <laughs> uh, and yet the Marauder seems to hold its own. Although I seem to remember the Marauder having an autocannon instead of a large laser. So the the Marauder we have, I think, is a variant of the typical Marauder. You know what? I think that's true. I think we've got a 3D instead of the 3R. But anyway, uh, although your mission for Marshal Davian is now complete, I'm afraid that you're still trapped on Sarna, just like the rest of us. Leo forces still maintain air superiority and will destroy your dropship if you attempt to leave the system just as they destroyed all of ours. But not all hope is lost. We just captured a scouting patrol from the local militia, and we're able to tap into McCarran's comm systems. While we know they'll change the transmission codes the second they realize one of their patrols are missing, we've learned that McCarran is squarely focused on destroying remnants of the Crater Cobras. Now, if you remember, the Crater, Crater Cobras are the mercenary group that we uh, met in Operation Galahad, and their commander, Westrick, is cool as shit. Uh, and Screaming Eagles the Cirrus Fusiliers mercenary support battalions for the Sarna campaign. They're still alive and been causing the Big Mac nothing but problems for months now. We've used your Leopard sensors to pinpoint their position, although they're assigned uh, through their assigned transponder codes. And we've verified that they're still alive and moving, although they're too, uh, they are too far for us to make radio contact through all of this electromagnetic jamming. This is the best news we've received since you all arrived to help us. Commander, we'll need you to make initial contact with them. At the moment, their reported location is too far away from any of our fusiliers to make without abandoning our wounded and prisoners. I'll prep everyone for transport and begin to slowly migrate our surviving personnel in their general direction. Your forces can fly ahead in your dropship and make initial contact with their forces and plan a rendezvous point for us. The mercenaries have been moving their forces repeatedly, trying to stay one step ahead of McCarran's armored cavalry. Judging by their movements, it appears that they're migrating towards the ruins of a derelict warship located deep in northern Jacarlos. This will be the most ideal spot for you to make contact with them. This might be the last time we see each other, Commander, so before you go, I just want to say thanks for everything. You've given all the remaining Fusiliers hope that we'll make it out of this one way or the other. So let's do it. We're gonna go. Uh... Yeah, you know, salvage shares have been... Although that's pretty good. We'll, t we'll make three million sea bills. My goodness, we're about to double our sea bills for this entire campaign. It has been incredibly profitable so far. Like this has been mega profitable. That is huge. So yeah, let's let's go max salvage. Confirm. Alright. We're in good shape here. Uh, 
no, we're not going back in that Zeus. I'm going to Agincourt here. But everything else is being repaired. We should be good. Yep, ready. Let's do it. The ruins of the derelict warship are straight ahead, Commander. The Crater Cobras and the Screaming Eagles have taken refuge in its interior. If we want to have any chance of getting out of this mess alive, we're going to need their help. Let's hope they aren't in as dire straits as we are. Now, I don't know if I've ever done this so that they don't lose a single mech. I don't think I've ever been that lucky. Yeah, that is cool. A fucking warship. <laughs> see one of the ancient warships. These things used to be at the top of the food chain when it came to the supreme military power of the Star League. Massive spacecraft that acted as jump ships, armed to the teeth with naval weapons and assault dropships. And were often used to rend death across entire systems with nuclear fire and chemical strikes. Untold billions died at the hands of these monsters. It's not surprising that they were the first things to be targeted and destroyed in the early succession wars. Oops. Can I knock it up this hill? Is it too steep? See if I can get up here. Those mechs, they're broadcasting Federated Suns IFF. You out there, identify yourselves. We are an independent detachment of the second Crucis Lancers on special assignment. We're here to help. Rihanna Campbell? Is that you? I thought you were with that Merc outfit from the Galahad War Games. What are you doing broadcasting Davian military IFFs? That's a long story for another time. <laughs> We're hoping to help each other out of this mess. That's highly optimistic of you. We dug into this position to defend ourselves from an incoming advance from the 3rd McCarran's Armored Cavalry. They've been probing our defenses for the past week after we repelled an all-out assault oh, from the Graves Hallow. I went the wrong... Help, join us well, and let's push these bastards great. back. Keep us in good enough shape and we might just yeah. live to see tomorrow. Colonel Westrick, enemy scouts has crossed the outer perimeter. They're here. Well, okay. Well, then. one of my guys got Let's the VTOL, so that worked. Rihanna, Commander, we'll appreciate the assist here. Keep our mercs in fighting shape. We won't be any good to you dead. I'm going to lose target lock on this thing. Oh, no. Come on, guys. Shit, shit, shit. Well, here are five fucking ravens right here. Come on, guys. Hurry up and get here. Yeah, it's using a flamer to try to heat me up. I gotta back off over here for a quick minute. It's a fade. Man, that freaking... Oh, come on. Bastard. We should be able to pull oh my god, and they're launched they're landing more fuckers over there. Shitheads. We'll do our best, Colonel. We got that. Well, we're about to see one. Good, we got them. Killed that walker. Yes, you did. But we got fucking bogeys over there. That's gonna be a problem. All right, I guess we'll go through the ship. That's probably going to be faster. It's, it's going to take us a while to get to where they just dropped those fuckers. Hopefully Westrick doesn't lose any mechs while we're on our way over there. But yeah, based on the terrain, this is definitely going to be faster. And unfortunately, because of the ceiling, even if they get a target lock, we won't be able to fire. <laughs> right, Darkstar? Uh, but yeah, it, it, yeah, it is lame. Because uh, even if we get a target lock, I can't fire on them because 
you know, we can't fire through the ship. So we're just gonna have to do what we can. They have a king crab! That's gotta be Westrick and the king crab itself. That is awesome. All right, so this Vindicator we might actually be able to shoot at in a second. Yep, we're gonna have to come through here. Yeah, it's just gonna take us a little while to get through this. But we got through that initial wave of ravens pretty effectively. I don't know if that was good that we were so close to them, or if it was bad. Shit. Alright, we got that fucker. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oof. That was close. Okay. Yeah, go down this way. I almost walked right off the fucking ledge. You're shooting through the terrain, you dumb shit. <laughs> now well, that sucked. Just keep running. Hey, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's fucking fast. Oh, ho, good shot there. I didn't kill it, but boy, did I hurt it. That's all right. Somebody else got the kill. That works fine for me. All right. Where are the rest of these assholes? Oh, we got more. Got more idiots with guns over here. Uh, can we just get out of the way? Go. You guys deal with that. Deal with whatever this shit that is. Come on. Javelin. It's probably running over that way, so if I go this way. Yep. guys can worry about that. Oh my god, and there's more. But wait, there's more. Yeah, we need to get the hell away from it. Let's go over here with Westrick's reinforcements. Got it. Shit, can't shoot them from here. This way, uh. Damn. Got it. Now speed up. Cool off. Alright, we get some of these. Yes. Let's get some of these assholes out of here. There's you. Not you. Okay. Yeah, focus on that fucking Orion. That's what can hurt us the most. Oh, never mind. Fucking hunchback. Good. Destroy that small laser, or it's AC-20. To deal with you. Alright, not too bad. Where's the next one? <laughs> Where's the next wave of bullshit? And they landed over there. Target. Target. Got it. All right, we're gonna have to go through the ship again. So let's do it. Fortunately, it looks like Westrick's men are going that way. Good, we won't be alone. <sighs> looks like some of Westrick's uh, Lance took one on the chin. But yeah, I wanna stay close to that King Crab. <laughs> oh, it won't let me uh, target my friendly. That's all right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay by this uh, king crab <laughs> for sure. We're just gonna hang out with this king crab.
We are not going to overextend ourselves. We're going to go in one cohesive unit. Yep. Yeah, deal with that battle master for sure. That was what's going to hurt us more than anything else. You know, it's funny. I actually don't really like the battle master, which is kind of a surprise, but I've never had a good... I've never had a good experience with the uh, battle master. You. Yeah, it sucks to just kind of stand and fight, but. There we go. <laughs> Granted, I had to go around traffic a little bit for that. Shit, let's uh, back off a little bit. Let's head down here. Cool off. Vent some of that heat. What are you guys doing? There we go. Got you. Now. Engaging commander's target. Why are you guys so lost? Uh, do a little bit of hide and seek there. Off a little. And we got assholes flying above us outside. We're doing alright over here. We've got this. I didn't get the kill, but <laughs> we that was a good group effort. We couldn't just leave that archer. You why are you so stuck out there? We could have used you, awesome. What the hell happened to you? Whatever. Come on, buddy. Let's go this way. Now that you've managed to finally descend through there. We only got one more lance left. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad. Let's hang out up here and I'll wait for them. We saw them kind of coming in this way. So, uh, there's this. Moving into file formation, Commander. Yep, I'm up here. So they're up there. Why are you guys all the way over there? I saw the dropship coming in over here, I think. Unless they're over there. I hope they're not up there. That would be really bad. our stalker. Come along. Let's take a quick peek outside. Oh shit, they're over there. Fuck, I fucked up. I thought they were over here. Damn. Well, so much for that idea. That was bad. Oh, god damn. Well, thank you, VTOL, for flying inside of the ship. All right, so we only got three more. Good. So at most, it's only three mechs. Let's see. Commander, if we're going to survive this, we need every mech we can get. Damn. Do your best to protect my men. I wonder what, what, mech, we got, what mech got lost. Yeah, I fucked up. You. A couple of Vindicators. Oh, and a Marauder. Let's head over this way. Put some SRMs into you first. Oops. Losing some of my armor on the left. Went for a headshot there. Missed it. <laughs> Got it. Come on. Oh well. 
clear. You have our thanks, Commander. But without us being able to transmit off system, I'm very skeptical about our overall chances at survival. Wow, the King Crab is what got destroyed? Shit. Contacting anyone at the system's jump point. We have a long shot plan to try to get a message off world. With your help, we might just be able to do it. Come by our command center and I'll share the details with you. I'm thinking that was a lucky shot on a Vindicator to the uh, King Crab's head. Because there's no way that that king crab was not that badly damaged when we were just by it. So we mu that must have been just a, a bad luck head hit. Which can happen, obviously. I mean, we were so out of position. But. That's what I, that, can, that can happen. PPC to the face, you know? Shit. <laughs> Especially back in the day when you had clan uh, PPCs one one clan PPC hit to your head, even if you hadn't taken any damage. That's a dead mech in tabletop. Um, yeah, we'll take the archer. Why not? You know what? I'll take this locust too. Fuck it. So it gives me one more. Yeah, we'll take it. All right, my my guys are leveling up. Well, that's good. Oh my God, look at look at this shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck is the matter with these AI pilots? Oh, uh, well. Oh, we got another pilot. And she's pretty good, so we'll keep her. Commander, it's great to see you again. I only wish we were meeting under better circumstances. You have my thanks for keeping us in good enough shape to see tomorrow. While I can't spare too much equipment, I do have a mech warrior that's been disposed of her mech in the recent fighting. Huh, probably the king crab that, uh... <laughs> right? That would make sense. If you've got a mech for them, they'll serve you well. I'll send them over to your dropship. Let's catch up over a drink in my tent. I'm curious to know why the hell you're even on this rock in the first place. Yeah, Colonel Re Restrick is pretty fucking cool. So let's take a look at our pilot roster. So we got Morena here. Or we got Serena. Mila Serena. Yeah, at this point, we don't need Juarez. We'll dismiss you. You're, you're good. Curtis. That brings us back down to seven. At this point, I could just let Freeman go. I mean, 38. There's, he's the same level as she is, but she's got a tire, higher skill tier. It might be time for me and Freeman to go. Yeah, he's only cost me 12,000. We'll keep him for now. Battle Max. Let's repair gonna take 30 days to repair that's probably not gonna be ready but we'll deal with it okay mech cold storage put this archer in cold storage wow that's actually not even that badly damaged we just cored it <laughs> that, that mech wasn't even all that badly damaged that's so funny that is hilarious uh the spider the spider will keep that could be a cantina find locust now we'll have two locusts. Anything beyond that will sell. Uh, Jenner. We already have two Jenners. So fuck it. Let's just sell the Jenner. Yep. We're selling this bad boy. Okay. Put the Zeus back up here. And, uh, do I sell the archer? Or do I keep it? Yeah, let's put this, let's put that in cold storage. Maybe, maybe one day we'll get a uh, Cantina mission for the archers and we can just sell the bud, sell that bad boy. All right, let's find out what our next mission is. <laughs> that sure is some story you got there, Commander. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure I can only imagine Westrick's face when it's like, really? Holy shit. Well, I'm glad to hear that Captain Damu was able to rally a number of survivors from the Fusilier's ranks. You won't find much sympathy for their plight among my men after what Hearthstone pulled. You see, things went sideways for us the second we arrived in system. After they heard Maximilian Liao killed their beloved Duke, General Hearthstone ordered the 5th Sirtis Fusiliers to charge ahead of our invasion flotilla on a high-G burn that jumped the gun on the agreed-upon invasion schedule. Oh my god, right, I forgot about that. They beat us to the planet's surface by two days, hoping to satisfy their lust for revenge. All they did was walk face first into a trap that doomed them all. 
I could still hear the screams they broadcast to us in vain hope that we would save them while we were still over a day away from reaching the planet. The Screaming Eagles and I decided that despite the incompetence of Hearthstone and the Fusiliers, we couldn't deviate from our contracted invasion plan. If we packed it up and left for home, we might have lived, but we'd never be able to find MRB work back again. We came to the joint decision that we would drop in system and fight out McCarran's armored cavalry in a protracted guerrilla war and attempt to get a message off system requesting reinforcements from the AFFS. Little do we know that the Capellans had some kind of jamming field that disrupts long-range communications planet-wide. Those bastards kept the jammers off so we could listen to the peace leaders plead for their lives and our approach in, only to flip the switch and jam our comms the second we hit Atmo. We've been trying to figure out a way to get a message since jump point ever since. Commander, we've spent months scouting out the facilities that Capellans used to disrupt long-range communications on planet, but with our numbers, we've always determined that assaulting one was too high risk. With you here, however, we might be able to just pull it off. We know the Capellans are gunning for us, so if we pull the Big Mac's attention away from a number of their regional jamming arrays, we should be able to thin their defenses enough where you could perform a targeted strike and bring those jammers down. It'll be just like Galahad. We'll draw them away, you see that the mission gets done. I'll be straight with you, Commander. This mission is critical to us being able to get a message out of the system. I don't know how much longer any of us can last down here, but if you give us a month or so, we can plan for an assault on those jamming facilities. So take your time, prepare your forces, and be ready for anything. We may need to deploy in consecutive missions depending on how McCarran reacts to their jammers being destroyed. So make sure you complete as many repairs and refits as possible before we execute this mission. Godspeed, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. Let's do it. Confirm. Woohoo! Okay, mission starts in 50 days. We're good. All of our mechs are going to be repaired by then. So that is a beautiful thing. Yeah, we are ready. Sir, the radar. It appears to be jammed. Only one man dares give me the raspberry. Lone Star! <laughs> I'm sure I didn't quote that exactly right, but I knew exactly where you were going with that. Supposedly... They're making a sequel to Spaceballs, which um, was quite the surprise to me. The only thing that makes me feel even remotely confident about it is that Mel Brooks apparently is involved in some degree. But uh, to me, if it's not Spaceballs 2, The Search for More Money, it's got to be Spaceballs 3, The Search for Spaceballs 2. If it's not either one of those two things, I got to imagine we riot, right? Right? We riot, right? <laughs> And you got to have Rick Moranis as, as Dark Helmet. You just got to. You can't do it without Rick Moranis. Oh, let's. Would help I readied up. Nice job, Seraph. Woohoo! So yeah, this whole campaign is really interesting. Cobras have provided us with the location of a series of powerful ECM arrays that have been disrupting long-range comms across the entire Sorna system. If we destroy enough arrays within the region, we should be able to pierce the localized disruption field and get a message out to the system's jump point. We need to destroy these ECM arrays in order to have any hope of getting a message off-world. If we don't succeed, well, we'll almost likely die here, Commander. Ah, oh, lovely. No pressure at all for the likes of us, eh? I know it's hard to hear, but it's the simple truth. While we've had our successes, McCarran's armored cavalry still has four full regiments of troops on Sarna. It's a simple numbers game. The reality is, we don't have enough forces to come out ahead. Even with the Crater Cobras and Screaming Eagles, we need reinforcements. And with the system's HPG down, the only way that we can ever hope of getting them is if we get a message back to Davion Command through a ferried message by jump ship. Bringing down these ECM arrays is our only chance of doing that. I'm not exaggerating when I say that this time, all our lives are depending on this. So good luck, Commander. Yeah, it's the only problem is sometimes when they're talking and then you have to deal with uh, a patrol and then you miss what they're saying. Um... But what it is, what it is. Uh, but yeah, Darkstar, I totally agree. If we get Ryan Reynolds <laughs> to help out, uh, we have a chance. All right. 
let's do this. Let's make our move on this. There it is. New target, spider. Come on, come on, walk in. Alright, you should be able to deal with the rest of that. Nice job. All right. It's not one of you assholes. Target neutralized. Ooh, I was able to hit it at that range. I figured that would be out of range for the pulse lasers. Why was that not registering? That was weird, right? The targeting computer couldn't even... Oh, probably because of all the ECM. That's that's actually a good point. <laughs> all right. well, this way, we'll deal with this one. We'll actually take a more angle like this. I'm sure each one of these sites is uh, being protected. Oh, fuck. Yep, we got to deal with this rifleman. Let's try and keep our distance from it. Yeah, a rifleman. A rifleman can absolutely wreck your shit if you're not careful. Yeah, you did, Bradford. Nice job. Yeah, let's deal with it. Got you. Alright, got you. Wow, we didn't destroy that fucking thing. You. Really? <laughs> Stupid ass locust. I think you're the closest one. Yep, you are. I think it's on the other side of that. It probably is. Yeah, I couldn't get a lock on it. Damn ECM. Shit. Job. The message is getting clearer, but we still can't make out any discernible information. We need to destroy those remaining ECM towers. 
Commander, our tactical projections are not good. The only way we can break through McCarran's forces is if we abandon our wounded. That is not something I'm willing to do. We're preparing to make our last stand. Finish the mission, Commander. Then get as far away from us as possible. Regroup with Captain Damu. Get a message back to Davian Command. Survive. Colonel Westrake, I'm sorry we couldn't do more. It's okay. It's the part of the job that all of us mercenaries must accept at some point. Today, it's just my time. Destroy. Commander target received. Ah, shit. Enter it. Fine. Killed that walker. Job? Oh, yeah. We definitely need to get rid of that. That catapult will fucking shred us if we let it. Good job. I didn't have to fucking tell you to do it. It's actually really nice that I didn't have to tell you to fucking do that. Oh, you dodged. I can't believe it dodged. <laughs> I actually am kind of impressed that it dodged. We got we got a turret of some sort. But it can't hit us from here. It's just shooting at us from over there. Fuck it. I'm not i I'm not hunting down a turret. Now this time I'm going to kind of go above to the north here and then come at it from the south, uh, from that direction. Well, it looks like we could just go through here. Yeah, I missed it. Come on. Try that again. Yeah, I don't know if Curtis got it or if I got it, but the important part is that turret got destroyed. Blow that fucking thing to smithereens. Did I damage any enemy units nearby it? Back away, back away, back away. Damn it. Good. Good, good, good. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Meh. But yeah, that's cool as fuck. The Westrix, like, I'm not willing to abandon our, our wounded. <laughs> you get out of here, survive, all that. Like, that dude's got... <laughs> That dude's got cojones, man. Where the fuck is this? This must be on the other side. Hey, okay, that one's destroyed. Proceeding to the last one. Oh, fuck's sakes. It's gotta be like a fucking turret, right? Oh shit. It got me and it caught me in. Caught me in that. Let's see. You should be able to engage. I know one volley of missiles isn't gonna destroy that Orion. Oh, fuck's sakes. Don't want to have to fight that. Let's get too close. Oh shit. Fine. Right. Oops, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Mm. I did not think that was gonna. Good job, Bradford. Yeah, I'd fucked up there with the, uh, with my heat management. Oh, 
Almost there. Last DCM tower. Hey, remember him? We have reached Sarna's atmosphere and are available to reinforce on your position. Is anyone out there? Please respond. Again, this is Arden Sortek. Colonel Sortek, this is Colonel Richard Westrick with the Crater Cobras. My God, is it good to hear your voice. The Crater Cobras and the Screaming Eagles are pinned down 50 clicks east of the city of Catatonia along the coast. We estimate that the Big Mac will have us completely surrounded in three hours. Transmitting exact coordinates now. Coordinates received. We're preparing an orbital mech drop to reinforce your position. Hold fast, Colonel. Help is here. This is Captain Alana Damu with the survivors of the 5th Sirtis Fusiliers. We don't have much left, but we are moving to assist. ETA, two hours. Looks like our salvation is here, Commander. I've marked a new exfil site on your map. Let's get out of here and join the others. Amazing what happens when comms go back up. And two of my mechs are stuck in the city, in that little settlement area. Oh my god. The pathing is so... <laughs> they, have been, they have had such a hard time navigating some of these maps. I don't remember them getting stuck that much. That's pretty funny. This okay. Sedite, sedite. Alright, we made ourselves a nice little more 4 million sea bills. And we can't get the Orion, but we can pick up that rifleman. Sure. Well, we already have three of them, but they're fucking rare. And valuable, so fuck it, I may as well take them. Yeah, we'll take the AC-2s. That way I have them. Oh, and now my uh, <laughs> chances of evading, avoiding enemy fire have gone up. I guess I did a decent job evading for them to give me skill points for it. All right. Battle mech time. Let's, let's go in here. Repair. 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 That rifleman... I don't think there's any reason to keep this rifleman. But now we've got two. So we're set up for um, cantina missions. Yep, we killed two, five, two, ra uh, two out of five raven mechs. If we don't get the ravens by the end of this, though, I don't know how many ravens we're actually going to, going to encounter. So that's the only problem there. So if we don't get this by now, it may not make sense to keep these going. But... Whatever. I'm surprised we're not getting any harasser units. That's kind of a surprise. Oh, we've got two javelin mechs. We could do that one. Yeah, let's do that. Since it's not giving us the harasser units, let's abandon that. Go to Cantina. Collect two javelins. Because we do have that. We don't have javelins? Oh, we had javelins. Right, we have Jenners, not javelins. Damn it, Seraph, you moron. <sighs> javelins aren't bought for sale here, are they? Of course they're not. Of course they're not. Dipshit. <laughs> you dumb shit. Oh, man. That's actually really hard. Although an LRM 20 top tier is nice, but... We have not encountered a king crab at all. Ugh. All right. Well, maybe we'll keep, maybe we'll keep that one in case we could find javelins. Oof. Well, that was dumb. All right, Commander, Commander, Captain Damu, we're about to engage in the fight of our lives. The Capellans must know that if they can't wipe us out before the heavy guards touch down on Sarna, it's over for them. Their only hope at maintaining control of the planet will be to utterly destroy our forces, so that when Colonel Sortek touches down, they'll have the numbers to fight him back. We've all gone through too much just to lose everything at the end. We need to muster whatever strength we have left and hold the line until Colonel Sortek relieves us. Gather your best mechs, equipment, and mech warriors and meet my Crater Cobras at the following coordinates. Prepare to give the Big Mac everything you've got. We didn't go through six months of hell just to die on the day the reinforcements arrive. The only thing left to do is to hold the line. 
we do that, and we'll still live to see tomorrow. All right, so we'll continue. Sure, let's go this route. That's served us well so far. All right, and uh, mission start's going to be pretty immediate. So I guess the question is, do I abandon this repair work? The Stalker and the Awesome really aren't all that damaged. And neither is that Archer, for that matter. All right, that being the case, let's... Uh... Fortunately, that... We'll, we'll refund that, we'll refund this, and we'll refund this. All right, so let's go back to our mission, and I will go in. Yeah, let's go in with the Marauder. That worked out last time. And I guess the question is, do I send you in with the Orion, just because it's completely undamaged? 464, whereas, well, uh, the Orion actually has more, more armor. Hmm. That's a good question. All right. You know what? You're going to go in with the stalker. There's a fine. There we go. You're going to go in with that Orion. Okay. Let's try this. <laughs> right. That makes sense. Because they only had three hours. We don't have any time to repair. This is it, everyone. Colonel Sortek is on the verge of making Planetfall, and is en route to our position. McCarrens knows that if we successfully relink with the Davian Heavy Guards, they're done for. So, they're gonna throw everything they have at us, trying to put us in the ground before Colonel Sortek's reinforcements arrive. We've spent the past six months in hell, cowering and sulking in the shadow of those bastards, trying to survive against unprecedented circumstances. No dropship support, no air support, no way of communicating with the jump point. Hell, we even made it by with no HPG completely blind to the rest of the inner sphere. We made it through all of that. But today, <laughs> finally, we can stand tall against these compelling bastards. Today is a day of retribution. Today we are finally taking the fight to them. Fusiliers. I'm not one for speeches as eloquent as our mercenary friends. We have been struggling to survive since the Grey River ran red with the blood of our fallen brothers and sisters. Just remember, they're still here. They're watching over us. And today, God willing, we will avenge their deaths. For new Sirtis! For House Hasek! We have contacts. Dead ahead. All forces fire at will. Stay in cover and support one another. Don't let them spill one more ounce of Cobra's blood today. Commander, Colonel Westrick is right about one thing. The McCarran's forces will be relentless. There's no telling when the Davion Heavy Guards will make it to the field. So we need to support one another if we're going to make it out of this alive. Tread carefully, Commander. Contact enemy mech. And shoot at me. Or I walked through something. <laughs> we got one. Yeah, shooting me in the face, bastard. Move her over this way. Thank you, I appreciate that. McCarran and his cronies have taken six months and hundreds of our brothers and sisters' lives with them. Fusiliers, make them pay! Ho ho ho! I literally... Oh, did I not punch that mech to death? I thought I punched that mech to death. Zap you. We'll reposition. Fuck it. Ah, I missed. Here for a quick minute. Go off. Break line of sight. I do heat up. Yeah, PPCs are just 
fucking make for a furnace. Damn. Wow, that survived that? That's fucking amazing. I was surprised that Mech managed to take that kind of a punishment for a little while. We'll watch out when things are firing at him. I made it, got to it too late. There we go. Your life sucks. Come on, ECM. Okay. Yeah, as soon as that ECM was going, it was taking two PPCs. Fuck you. Oh, why can't I back up? Oof. Oh, you were behind me. Nice job. I'm like, why can't I back up? I didn't realize a hunchback was standing right behind me. up too much. This way, hide behind a building. Oof. Ow. Shit. That was bad. Come on, cool off. Cool off. Come on. There we go. guys deal with that one i'm gonna oh well there's there's more than that all right let's not advance too fast go hide over here yeah this fucker yeah, i was hoping to take it out with a headshot not so lucky the stalker is going to be a problem There we go, but we killed it. Oh, it's still alive! Fuck! No, now we killed it. <laughs> Let me cool off over here. Run over here. Try not to lose my leg. Man. Oof. Yeah, I got pretty wrecked on that. Jeez. Okay. Let's come around for another pass here. Oh, I can hit shoot you with the large laser, but then I need a fucking bolt. We got this. What's going on here? You're ignoring me. How nice. Come on. Shit. I didn't get it. Fuck, I fucked up. I hit the wrong button. I was so used to the, uh, Agincourt shit. There we go. 
Damn. I went for it. It seems like every time I go for it, I miss. Get out of the way. Parker. Oh my god, you guys are in the way. That was a nice double kill there. Commander, I just want to say thank you. If you hadn't come to help us all those months ago, I have no doubt. Like the rest of our brothers and sisters in the fifth, we'll never forget what you did for us. Likewise, Captain. Without you, we would never have been able to complete our mission for the Kestrel. Boom, Edson! Boom, Edson! Boom, Edson! Boom, Edson! Finally, get some R and R. It's been one hell of a campaign. Welcome back, Rob. And just like that, that's the campaign, Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. Oh boy. And now we get some uh, very interesting after action. <laughs> I don't think there's an evac zone we have to go to. I think we're just, there it goes. There it goes. My God. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a doozy, but yeah. So we get to, uh, we got to accompany the uh, Federated Sun side of the invasion of the Capellan Confederation as the Fourth Succession War launched. So we're in the middle of that now. Uh, we got two Vindicators. That's interesting. I think I'd rather have the Blackjacks. Yeah, give me the Blackjacks. All right, all things can... Yeah, this is a pretty good damage report. Not, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, now we get our spoils. So... Here's the major lore dump at the end of all that shit. Commander, I've just received your report from Arden Sortek. I cannot tell you how glad I am to hear that you made it through that Sarna campaign. When I heard of the armored cavalry ambush and the HPG being destroyed, I feared that I may have condemned you all to death. You had all the Kestrel answers worried for you. While I'm sorry I can't be there on Sarna to debrief you in person, there is still much for me to do here on Tigris. Please accept this canned message as your formal debriefing. By the time Comstar is able to deliver this message to you, our offensive which the nudes feeds have taken to calling the Fourth Succession War, will be over. As I speak... Yeah, so the Fourth Succession War has now begun and already ended. <laughs> As I speak, Comstar is negotiating the end of all hostilities between the five great houses. When all is said and done, the Capellan Confederation will have to capitulate that it has lost over half of its former territory. Most of it to be claimed by House Davian through right of conquest, but some by two former Capellan commonalities declaring independence from the Confederation. The first to break away was the Tikhonov commonality. They were holding out hope that the Confederation would come to their aid, but after being cut off from a direct logistical route to Sion, they eventually declared independence to spare their citizens from further Davian invasions. You won't believe who leads them. Our old friend Pavel Ridzik. After he managed to escape our forces and fled Tikhonov, Strategic Director Ridzik retreated to Elgin, where he took control of the region declaring himself Supreme Lord of the Tikhonov Free Republic. His reign didn't last long as an assassin killed him back in June. The other breakaway faction is the St. Ives commonality. Their former heir of the Confederation, Candace Liao, abandoned her father to declare her province independent from the Confederation. I can't imagine how Maximilian Liao has taken that one. Comstar is negotiating to formally recognize these independent provinces as new nations once their leaders can charter the new laws of their provisional governments. Be sure to be on the lookout for those two once all the dust settles later this year. The next item we'll need to discuss is the destruction of Sarna's HPG. After the Fusiliers destroyed the HPG, Comstar was furious with the Federated Sons, claiming us ultimately responsible for its destruction. Now, mind you, it's full of shit. The Fusiliers didn't destroy it, but, you know, we know that, and it's, you know, water under the bridge now. But they put the entirety of the Federated Sons under interdiction, cutting off interstellar communications and commerce between the hundreds of Federation worlds. Your report about the imposter Fusiliers captured by Captain Damu couldn't have come at a worse time. Had we known this about, about this a month ago, we would have been able to mount a defense against Comstar's accusations. 
But first, Prince Davian has already agreed to allow Comstar to station their own mech security forces at every HPG in the Federation to ensure that such a debacle never happens again. It's much too late to defend our role in the Sarna HPG attack now, even if we now know that we were not responsible for its destruction. The interdiction, along with the war effort, sent the Federated Sun's economy into a tailspin. Had they maintained their interdiction, Comstar could have very much bankrupted the entire Federation, also displaying how powerful of a faction Comstar is. Which brings me to the most uncomfortable part of this debrief. Commander, the Federated Sons can no longer financially support the remainder of your, our contract with your unit. I'm to inform you that we're invoking our cancellation clause and releasing you from the remaining four months of your contract. You will be compensated for this with your agreed-upon MRB release bonus. I'm... I'm sorry our time together had to end like this, Commander, but it's completely out of my hands. The Crucis Lancers won't be escaping these budget cutbacks either. For the time being, my command will still exist on paper. For the most part, most of the personnel of the second Crucis Lancers has been consolidated into the third Crucis under Marshal Pedroza's command and will continue to garrison Tigris. I currently exist to ensure that the Kestrel Lancers continue to be a paper tiger to our enemies, while the Federation's economy recovers from the war. But I won't let this deter me. I forged the Kestrel Lancers from nothing once. I could do it again. Although you won't be around to help me this time, Commander. I'll never forget the contributions you and your team made to keep the legend of the Kestrel Lancers alive. We'll be back. And stronger than ever. You'll see. Goodbye, my friend. Until we meet again. But we get a top-tier ER large laser, ultra auto cannon, a nice LRM-20 with Artemis. Some good shit, man. This is some good, good shit. So we will claim all of that. Yep, message from Arden Sortek. Yep, Commander, I'm sorry to see that COC Command saw the need to cut your contract short. But I'm told it couldn't be helped. Um, anyway, blah, 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 still yep, afraid any long-term commitment. Certainly not on the table. First Prince Davian has asked me to relay a message to you on his behalf. He asked me to command, commend you on your good work throughout our, your campaign on behalf of the second Crucis Lancers. The Lancers owe you a debt of gratitude for being such a reliable force throughout the Fourth Succession War. Unfortunately, Commander, Hans has also deemed that large amounts of your campaign for the Federated Sons are to be expunged from the official record and classified as top secret. Your inclusion on the Second Crucis' roster, the hidden Earthworks factory that we now possess, the stolen Mio codebooks, and how close the enemy was to getting them, your mission on Sarna, and your capture of the true assailants of the Sarna HPG attack. All of these things will be classified as state secrets, and are never to be mentioned to talk about again. While I know it stings, this is often just the way things are for a mercenary, just like your father Nick knew when he agreed to the Halstead Stasin contract. Although we weren't in position to financially compensate you in the same way we rewarded your father for his loyalty and silence, we do have some early prototypes from the new Avalon Institute of Sciences that Hans would like to give you. Prototypes we have never achieved, had uh, we would never have achieved had it not been for the service both you and your father. Hans hopes these prototypes serve you well and wants you to know that once the unification of the Federated Commonwealth is final, you have a place among us uh, if you choose to join our cause. <laughs> Sorry. I hope you consider and take hands up on that offer. The Federated Commonwealth can use all the hope we, uh, help we can to make a more peaceful inner sphere. Until then, Commander, this is goodbye. And yeah, they gave us a uh, nice LB-10X autocannon. So we will claim that. And boy... So the okay, so the star map is going to update at the end of the year. We are where are we? We're in Sarna. Okay, so I think we're going to go to Masterson. Let's go to Masterson. Let's travel there, and let's see what we can do contract-wise. That was Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. <clears throat> yeah, we went through the entire DLC. Took us about oh, took us about five hours from start to finish, because we did start it today. Now granted, we didn't do Operation uh, Galahad today, but still, all in all, pretty good. Okay, cold storage, we don't have a blackjacks in here. Yeah, we'll put both blackjacks in there. Do I keep this Zeus or not? Let's repair you. Now we, re now we repair all this shit. Now we figure out what the fuck we're doing. Um, at this point, I don't think we have a need to keep this Wolverine. Let's put that in cold storage. Same with the Hero Trebuchet. We can put that in cold storage. Do I keep the Zeus? Do I keep the Zeus? That's a good question. And we got a perfectly good Cataphract, but we never actually used it. 
Yeah, maybe we'll keep these in our roster just to keep things going here. All right, so we've got all that set up. Javelin. Oh, okay, we can buy a javelin. Fine, let's buy this javelin. Yeah, unfortunately, we've got a 15% markup on all fucking items here. That's the only part that sucks, but we did at least collect one. Okay. So we're pairing all of that. I still don't see a signal from anywhere over here. That's just so bizarre. Maybe if we go here, we can get it to trigger? Well, let's save. Let's save. We'll do a new save. There we are. Let's... Let's just travel there just to see if we can get this particular mission to propagate. Maybe we go back to the Sion commonality. We can get it to show up. If we can't, I'll just load and we won't waste the time. There's no sense wasting the time to go here if it doesn't generate the uh, high reward quest that I'm really hoping for. That's just peculiar in the extreme. Wow, it really won't. That is so, that is so, so weird. Ah, now it, now it updated. <laughs> yep, 3030 updated and yeah, now, yeah, you can see the difference in how all this shit looks. But yeah, it's not giving us this uh, high reward quest. That is so lame. All right, well, whatever, we'll just load. We'll just load. We just won't go there. Give me a second. I'm going to do a bio break and we'll be back for more Mech Warrior. I think we'll take a trip to, uh, up to the Lyran Commonwealth, we'll buy some mechs and we'll have some fun here as we go into uh, a little bit more. Uh, we do a few more missions and then we'll do a campaign mission or two. Woohoo! But in the meantime, let's soda. <laughs> All right. But yeah, no, seriously, those headshots really, really helped. Um, let's... This time I just muted the mic while I opened up the can of Coke this time. All right. So now that we're... Now that we are definitely okay money-wise, it is time, it is time to really upgrade our mech situation. So, why, can I get up here? Nope, we can't get up there. Well, let's go to this industrial hub, and uh, actually, we need, we did buy that mech, okay. Do I go here real quick just to see if they have a javelin? 
Let's go there real quick, see if they've got a javelin too. Buy that. Now we'll do some... some... cantina... In, uh, some uh, cantina errands here. Do some logistics. Rare AC-20. Yeah, okay, we've got more than enough money now. I will pay for that. <laughs> And that's a really good LB-10X autocannon, although I do not usually really like the LB-10X. I think it's okay. Ah, eh, shit. Ugh. All right, so do I just go backwards here? And hope for... Potential mechs. Yeah, fine. We've got more than enough time. Let's just go there really fast. And if not, then yeah, we're going to head up that way. As far as automatic weapons go, it's kind of meh. Good. As far as automatic weapons go. Uh, the LB-10X is not an uh, is not an automatic weapon. Um, unless you're talking about ballistic. Maybe it was supposed to be ballistic and it got autocorrected. Come on. Ah, it didn't give us the javelin. But the LB-10X is almost like a shotgun weapon in mech form. That's, uh... Yeah, well, that was a waste. Alright, well, we tried. We tried. Let's find us our a... Let's just try and track down a, uh... Yeah, we can't get there. We can get here. So let's go to Athena. Who knows? Maybe they'll have a javelin for sale. Or am I totally missing the joke, freak? But I probably totally missed the joke. <laughs> I probably just totally missed the joke. I'm sure I could just picture freak bot in the computer going, "Oh my god, Sarah, really?" Well, we got more missions that we could do. The only truth that sticks, huh? Ah, yes. Candace Leo's illegal annexation of the Saint Ives commonality was a betrayal of the highest order. <laughs> Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. That's a. That's a. Uh, that's a uh, sound alert I need. Anyway, uh, Maximilian Liao um, would like to repay that treasury, uh, treachery by um, putting herself in, on the band of crippling one of her St. Ives Compact units, uh, her cherished St. Ives Sentinels. We're asking you to join with the 2nd Confederation Reserve Cavalry in staging a raid that will coax out her St. Ives Sentinels into an ambush. Crippling the Sentinels will show those traitors that the Confederation will seek justice for its people. And their masters within the Federated Commonwealth would do nothing protective, uh, or uh, within the Confederation. Well, uh, in okay, yeah, that I think, and their masters within the Confederation Commonwealth will do nothing. But, yeah, I don't know. we will have justice on behalf of the Confederation. So yeah, they're gonna give us some decent stuff. Sure, we'll accept that. We'll eventually come back there. Mech market. Give me no, no javelin. All yeah, right, fine. I mean, at this point, we're just making our way north. Uh, but since we're stopping off here, it made sense just to try here. Nothing, nothing here. Star map. Let's head north. What I'm really looking to do here. All right, so this is as far up as we can get. Let's go to Perkad here. Ah, Tharkad is up this way. Okay, fine. Maybe this is going to bring us to the industrial hub, but I'm thinking this is the industrial hub up there. But I'm looking to go up there. Not a joker. Oh, just a statement. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of a... It's it's a meh weapon. Like, I guess it's okay, but... I'm not the biggest fan. There's nothing here. Anyway. Yeah, virtually nothing. Because we are kind of in the middle of nowhere. Alright, but to Tharkad we go. Tharkad is the capital of the Lyran side of the Federated Commonwealth. And the Lyran... Uh, the Lyran Commonwealth. Which eventually will become, will become the Lyran Alliance when they split from the Federated Commonwealth. Because Katrina Steiner Davian is a total for -er -er. <laughs> Yeah, she sucks bad. Alright, so we're going to hunt around for a mech here. Hoping. Okay, that is good. So this is the solid slug LB-10X. That we will buy for sure. Sure, we'll buy that too. At this point, we could afford that. Damn, 
has not given us really what I would like. Oh, we'll take the LRM Artemis half ammo. All right, so I'm hoping that we can Let's see what the canteen is that he's got. Yeah, a bunch of shit. Although at least we do have the spider mech. We do have a spider, don't we? I think we have a spider. Yeah, we do have a spider mech. All right. So which of these? Oh. The javelin needs to go over there. So we still need to collect. Um, we need to collect two javelins. We're close. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to collect three raven mechs. We only collected one. So it's going to be really hard to find more. Wow, we got three out of five, though. That would be really cool. That would have been really cool, but I don't think we're going to have much of a shot at that at this point. That really sucks. This one, I think we still got a shot at. And these will keep. But yeah, we get, we got fucked over on the Raven Max. All right, let's abandon this one. Let's grab this one. Collect one spider. We can take. We can cash that in now. Why can't we cash that in? Collect one spider. We have a spider. It's right here. Why is that? What's going on here? Oh, Spider 5K. Oh, that's awful when you give those a freaking variance. Oh, that sucks. We're not going to find it. Collect one Thunderbolt mech. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, they fucked us on that. I should have kept the other one. I missed that it was a very specific variant. That's the only problem with the canteen operations when they give you those very specific variants. Unless you already have it, you're, you're just like super fucked. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't think I've got a dragon. Fuck. Thunderbolt. Well, that blows. <sighs> oh, there's a rare mech on the market. I guess we'll go check out this rare mech on the market. First, we could always just... If they end up completely fucking us on RNG, we could always just reload. Or we could go to a different industrial hub. But since we had this much money, I figured, eh, let's go up here. Let's see if we could buy a better mech. Yeah, we don't really care about that Zeus. Oh my god, we could have fucking grabbed... We could have gotten the Thunderbolt and... Ugh. Although if I had taken that Thunderbolt, I don't know if this would have been on sale here. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, I cannot believe... I can't believe that shit. Sometimes the game does feel like it trolls you, right? Like that feels like an, an ultimate troll job. Oh, you didn't take that Cantina mission? We'll, we'll, we'll have this for sale. Like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You're son of a bitch. I can't believe you did that to me. Oh my god. And if I go back here to get that cantina, I think the mech will, will change. Although I think the mechs, for the most part, stay the same. Oh, I can't believe that shit. I cannot believe that shit. Motherfucker. Alright, let's just go here. Let's see what they've got. <laughs> fucking game. We got this. We've got this. I'm mech hunting here. Bear with me a second here. Yeah, it's gonna give me a bunch of Thunderbolts. Apparently, Thunderbolts are very common. Let's go here. Uh, maybe I have to go to a different industrial hub? I might have to go to a different industrial hub for this. I mean, we're burning money while we're traveling around looking for this. But I feel like... There we go. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. That is what we came here for. That is exactly... Wow. That is awesome. Please and thank you. 
That is what we were. That that was the whole point of all of this. <laughs> it really, really was. Now let's just take a quick look, see what else might be in here. Sure, we'll take those. Yeah, we'll have an even number of those. Okay. All right, that was so worth it. All right, now let's go to the loadout. Let's have some fun with this shit. Okay. Let's see what LRM I have. Sometimes I like tossing out the LRM 15 and putting an LRM 15 Artemis in there. Boy. I feel like that's what we should be doing instead, though. <laughs> yeah. Definitely upgrade the firepower. So instead of, uh, let's see, instead of 24 damage, it does 33 damage with all those missiles. <laughs> Just throw all your sea bills in a big pile and light them on fucking fire, right? <laughs> I feel like that's what we just did here. Well, we were at what? 80 million sea bills and now we're at 57. <laughs> we chewed through a shit ton of sea bills, but because we had it, I felt like we could take the gamble, go to this industrial hub where I, I remember most of the time you got a decent chance of a Highland. Now, I did not think a 732B would be on sale. This is fantastic. This is absolutely fucking fantastic. So we got plenty of gauze. Let's go up here. Let's put in a better gauze rifle. How adventurous does Seraph feel? Fuck it. Let's let's really go for broke here. <laughs> so we got a couple of uh we got medium energy slots here. Medium lasers, medium lasers, medium lasers. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We do have some tier four medium lasers. We don't have any of the really good ones, but we've got this going on. It would have been nice to have had top tier medium lasers, but I think we'll take this. We'll take this. This will be a very nice upgrade. All right, let's take a look and see what we got for the SRM here. So we could upgrade that SRM 6 plus Artemis, or we could just upgrade it with a standard SRM, three tons instead of the four tons, save a ton, Could save a ton. But I think I like the idea of just upgrading the version, the variant of SRM that's in it. Let's do it. SRM 6 plus Artemis. All right. There we go. This is very, 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 very nice. Okay. Mission accomplished with all that. We can't put any more armor in this. Yeah, no, we can't. That would have been nice. Much better variant. It'll take 38 days, but overall, 40 days to upgrade that is super worth it. Now let's take a look at the upgrades for this fucker. Okay. Now I get to decide which of these is most important to upgrade. I do tend to like the extended sensor range and the target lock retention. They're cheap. They help me command my AI lance mates pretty well. I think the anchor turn one is sufficient rather than anchor turn two. Yeah, turn speed is nice, but I think this is the only one I'm really going to need. Jump jet thrust, though, we'll take the jump jet acceleration. And we'll also take the burn time upgrade. That'll help with the jump jet uh, potential there. Improved range. That helps with everything, including LRMs, gauze, all of it. Ballistic damage would help out with the gauze rifle. But we could just upgrade all of the damage entirely with damage tuning. I 
we got to go with armor here. And we'll go with even more armor. So instead of 555, it'll now have nearly 600 points of armor. All right, Freakbot, have a good one. We'll probably raid out to you fairly shortly. I do want to at least do a couple of missions with this Highlander just to give it a whirl. So we're going to we're going to do that. We're still going to do a couple of missions here. We might do a campaign mission or two. But then yeah, we'll be we'll be right along. I'm not going to be streaming this too late, I don't think. Of course, famous last words. Next thing I know, you'll be raiding me and be like, "Oh yeah, I guess I've been on for a while." <laughs> but always always a pleasure to have you on board, Freakbot. See you later, man. Yeah, assuming I don't get assuming I don't completely lose track of time, we'll be raiding out to him in a bit. So yeah, um Let's see, what does Seraph want to do for the rest of this? We got three more slots to do. We've upgraded the We've upgraded the anchor turn. Oh, we did not upgrade the anchor turn yet. But maybe I should upgrade the responsive movement so that we accelerate and decelerate a little bit faster. It may not seem like much, but I really wish I had the movement speed boost. Let's do the expanded sensor range. That is always helpful. And yeah, let's do target lock retention. Okay. So I guess the question is, do I remove sensor range one and put in sensor range two instead? Or do we just put in anchor turn one just to help out with a little bit of that speed, especially when we get faster max trying to twirl around us. That's why that anchor turn is really helpful. But we could go with a little bit of faster cooling. Or we could go even tighter missile clusters on top of the Artemis. Yeah, we can't do damage tuning because that takes too much. Or we could just go fortified internal structure and add some structure so it makes it less likely we lose a limb. That's always pretty nice. Could boost the aerodynamic hull with that. This mech should be fine with heat. It really, really should. Yeah, I usually don't need jump jet recharge. I think we'll go with the anchor turn. That will help out with that. It really will. Okay. all that that will take 100 days we have some time though let's let's put this zeus in cold storage yeah, i don't think we'll be i don't think we'll be piloting that at any future juncture okay now that we've got that fuck it let's go back to that cantina let's see if it offers us if it also if it offers us another thunderbolt we're taking that and we're running and we're running with that because there are Thunderbolts on sale all over the place. That would be amazing. Yeah, that Highlander, this Highlander will be amazing. Great, great fun. Oh, I should take a look at pilots too while I'm here. Yeah, we will. We'll be able to collect this. Oh, kill five Orion mechs. We should probably take that actually. Oh, right. I've got to go abandon one. Let's abandon the stupid spider that it's not going to give us. Unless there's a spider in here. No, of course not. Why would there be? Uh, although the mech loadouts don't change. For the most part. Unless you jump away to a conflict zone and kind of reset them. Yeah, we're going to abandon that. You tricked me. Not nice. So we'll go with the Thunderbolt. Instead. Ow, I'm actually tempted. I'm tempted to take this one too. Is there any one that we don't have? Do we already have one? Oh! I already have a Thunderbolt mech. How did I get a Thunderbolt? I don't even remember picking this up. Oh my god. Seraph, you moron. I could have done that the whole time. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> oh wow, we got two upgrades with that. Nice. Enhanced energy output. We wouldn't have done either one of those for our Highlander. But uh, that's, that's fucking hilarious. Orions are so common. We are totally doing that. Actually, we could probably do that now, can't we? Uh, wait, is that collect an Orion? Or kill Orions? Yeah, kill five Orion mechs. Yeah, 
We will we will be able to do that. We see so many Orions. It's an incredibly common mech. And getting a top tier SRM six with Artemis is gonna be awesome. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That was extremely good. Let's hire pilots. Any really good pilot? Wow. Let's do this, Commander. Drinks are on me when we get back. Mm, oh, man. Yeah, that might replace uh, Mila Serena here. We just picked her up. But yeah, she's expensive. She is expensive. Let's see. More. Yeah, we got seven pilots. We really don't need that many. Yeah, let's dismiss this pilot. All right. Let's Go do ahead. this, Commander. Drinks are on me when we get back. Yep. You're almost, uh... Thanks for the trust in me, Commander. Can... Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Yep. Nope. We are good there. Okay. Now... We've got all sorts of shit to do. Uh, that's the one we just accepted. We're not going anywhere near that. Let's, uh... That's the Lurin Rebellion quest. Oh god, there's one over here we can do too. The Shadow Coop. Or the Shadow Coup. Here's where we need to go for that. For our campaign missions. So I guess the question is, do we want to go do any of these? Or do we want to do these campaign missions? And then we'll just go into the Free Worlds League and work our way back getting some of these missions. Yeah, the Inner Sphere is huge. The Inner Sphere is fucking huge. Let's let's try and do some of these. I don't I don't know why Penobscot's a campaign mission. Heir of nothing. Oh right, that's the Legend of the Kestrel Lancers one. So we can't go that far. So we'll go to Drossendorf. It's time to do a campaign mission as we go back to deal with some of our high reward missions. I love the gauze rifle. <laughs> The Graz rifle is just amazing, great fun. Oh, we're actually in a conflict zone. Pretty neat. Yep, campaign mission. Oh, and there's an industrial hub right by here. It's too sweet. So if we, depending on how this goes, we can go here and refit. There we go. And our Highlander's ready to go. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Wow, we already... Oh my god, we're already in 3031. Jeez. Yeah, because we traveled all that way and then traveled all this way. Holy smokes. So yeah, the Tikhonov Free Republic disbands and joins the Federated Commonwealth. <laughs> that didn't last long. We get some other news here. Theodor Kurita is promoted to the uh, head of the Draconis Combine. Yep, Kunjino Kanre. Or no, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe maybe Theodor Kurita is not up there quite yet. Yeah, lock and load here. Let's do this. Distress call has been received from a wealthy civilian settlement that claims to be under attack by a group of raiders. Anyone in the area willing to intervene on their behalf is being offered compensation and additional combat bonuses. From the pattern we've identified, there's every reason to believe these raiders are Black Inferno in disguise, intent on driving people from their land. Your objective is simple. Protect that settlement and eliminate any and all Inferno forces. Hmm... I think so. We'll make three. We'll start making money again. Okay. New Islander. Yes. Uh, no. You need to have the stalker. You need to have the archer. Perfect. Oh, I should paint this. Whatever. I'll paint it after this. <laughs> Excellent. Most excellent. Attention. Prepare for battle departure. 
I love this mech. And I can't believe we got this variant. I was expecting, like, the 733 or the 733P that has the PPC version. It's a little slow. That's the only problem. But we'll deal. Yeah, once we get the speed upgrade, that'll be good. not do that. <laughs> Let's not do that. You should be there. We'll do that. Perfect. You have that, guys? Come on. Please take out that tank. I really don't want to waste. Thank you. Oh, fucking A. Sometimes I could keep my target lock by jumping. Got you. Damn it. That is so frustrating. Really? Wow, I can't believe I missed. Oh my god. You. Bastard. That. Enemy mech destroyed. You. Wow, that didn't kill you? That got you. <laughs> nice little sniper shot. Oof. Okay, getting used to it. Yeah, it sucks that it's this slow. I think the Hero Highlander is a little faster. But the Hero Highlander is really hard to find. Debating on whether or not I should try to go up this hill. I kinda like that idea, actually. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, time for the countdown before the countdown. Well, thank you, Darkstar. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming to hang out today. It was fun. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to have fun blowing shit up with this one. <laughs> All right. So maybe I won't go to the top of that hill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love the fucking gauze cannon or the gauze rifle. Well, now I'm not outpacing my the rest of my lance either, so that's just as well. Let's just go this way. See what we got. I don't see anybody. Well, fine, let's do it. And the best part, you basically have unlimited range with this thing. So if you uh, if you can aim it right, you can hit just about anything. Like that satellite dish. Fuck that satellite dish. <laughs> so if I don't, you know, have a need to target something or destroy something at long range, I, I now have that option. Whereas before we really didn't. 
Well, I don't see anything, which makes me very, very nervous. Fucking Black Inferno loves their traps. That's weird. I'm not detecting any enemy presence, Commander. Nothing. Head into the city, but proceed with caution. I'm not sure what's going on, but I don't like it. We're not heading into the city. We're going to go around the city. Jump jets here. Commander, what are you seeing? It's completely deserted. There's no one here. So it's not actually a good way to go this route. This way. Yeah, this is fucking eerie as shit. Obligatory, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah, we'll do this mission and then I'll sign off because I'm getting hungry now. It's going to be time for dinner time. Let's see how well we do. So far, so far, this is a great, this is a much better mech experience. It's a trap. Multiple Shocker. Dropships inbound on your location, Commander. Let's get the hell away from it. Looks like they're landing at either end of the city, trying to box you in. Watch your six. Well, let's head this way and we'll deal with this one. Yep. That's the one we got to destroy first. Let's try and get a better angle on it. Good. Yep, they got us boxed in. Okay, I can actually overheat in this thing. That's not good. Oh, and that thing's gonna blow up right next to me. Of course it is. Let's cool off. Oh, go over here, try to hide some of this shit. Man, let's deal with you. Go after that. Head hit. Now oh, we got this asshole though. Fucker. <laughs> you guys keep that banshee occupied for a minute. I'll try and deal with this tank. Got the tank. Alright. Try and lower some of its fucking... Lower some of their overall uh, firepower here. Deal with that first. Then we'll come around and deal with this fucking banshee. <laughs> Little bastard. It is fun to jump to the roof of something and then head to the port for extraction. I'll meet you there. Ah, Roger that. We need to go this way. But we know it's not over yet. But we handled that ambush pretty well, all especially considering they brought in a fucking ninety-five ton banshee and a uh, goddamn hunchback. That could have really sucked a lot. <laughs> I'm 45 seconds out, Commander. Prepare for extraction. Gotta love the trouble Black Inferno went through 
just to pull off a trap. Come on, team. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out. Commander, I've got two ASFs targeting the Leopard. They're in close pursuit. I'm going to throw up a screen and take evasive action. I'm sorry, but you're on your own for the moment. Send as many of these bastards to hell as you can. I'm almost out of armor, though, on my arms. That's not good. I really don't want... Yeah, all right. I'm just going to have to be careful around those things. Because these are very explosive. Nope, I don't like this at all. Here they come. Yep, here they are. All right, let's back off. All right, let's... Yeah, let's just back off and try and deal with as many of these at long range as possible. New target, Thunderbolt. Advantage to hit it. Ah, shit. You're still able to hit me. Come on, guys. Sorry, sir. Can't target that. Yes. Fire. That hunchback is what I'm more concerned about. Damn. Let's deal with you. Mitigating uh, my range advantage by going into the woods. That's actually really smart on their part. I don't know if they did that on purpose or uh, or if that just happened to be a happy accident for them, but. No. Ugh. Why won't you target that? No. Fire on that. That's what you need to be destroying. Okay, now that. Uh, come on. Come on, get me out of here. Okay, we gotta go. Get out of that. Oh, no. No, don't destroy my gauze rifle. I just got this thing. Please don't destroy that. Weapon lock on tag. Next kill confirmed. Target acquired. Damn it. Damn it. Stop hitting me. That was one for the Wow. The last of Took out my Artemis. Oh, sir, I'm six though. That part sucked. Heading to your location now. Hold tight. I gotta give them credit though, they- I wanted them to come across the open field and be able to pepper them with LRMs. And they just went into the fucking woods so I couldn't tar my stupid targeted computers wouldn't target them. And we got a free Marauder out of it, but not great. Did get an Ultra Auto Cannon out of it though. Uh, I would have much- oh well. Oh well, we lost our top tier- we lost that really nice SRM. Sure, gave me the fucking Hunchback out of all that. Super lame. <laughs> All right, I can't believe you made it out of there in one piece, Commander. Not many pilots could have survived an onslaught like that. Those sons of bitches figured out we were in their neighborhood and laid a trap for us. Worse than that, we walked right into it. I should have seen it coming. There's a similar lining to all this. It's that they underestimated us and our resilience. This time, they won't make that same mistake twice. Of course, neither will we. When you're ready, come see me on the bridge. I have something you want to hear. So we will do that. Let's speak to Rihanna. And then we'll go to that industrial hub and we'll repair.
Thankfully, we have another SRM-6 with Artemis that we could just replace it with, but still, it's a little was a close less call than like that, Commander. ideal. After Inferno targeted the Leopard, I have no choice but to take evasive action. Fortunately, the modifications Farhad made to the engines allowed me to outrun them, but not by much. Once in the clear, I set about scanning their comms, targeting the UNV frequency they were using, seeing what I could glean. Useless chatter for the most part. Then, I intercepted this, an encrypted communique. Turns out, it was from Andreas Kern, the leader of Black Inferno himself. Take a listen. Captain Kruger, you fool. The coordinates were on that dropship, and you let it slip right through your fingers. An entire operation, weeks of planning, for what? Yamata will want to know what happened. What do I tell him? That we failed him? No. I must tell him the truth. That I failed him, that I had faith in you, and that I was mistaken to think that you could execute such a simple plan. Return immediately to Xinyang, Captain. And I promise you that your punishment, though severe, will be swift. Xinyang must be their base of operations. We've got them now, Commander. I went ahead and ran the transmission by Spears to see what he made of it. The name Yamata threw up a red flag. Apparently, Yamata works for Comstar, one of the heads of Rom, their secret security force. So, Inferno has been working for Comstar this whole time? Explains a lot, doesn't it? How Inferno has the resources and strength it does. How it's been protected. If we're gonna go after Cain, we need to keep gearing up. It'll be a hell of a fight. Luckily, they're not the only ones with powerful friends. Spears, true to his word, is determined to help us now more than ever. After all, interstellar expeditions and Comstar aren't exactly friendly. What Spears have in mind? Apparently, he went ahead and purchased some black market information on Inferno. At what cost? I can't even imagine. Wouldn't have come cheap, I know that. He's offered it to us in exchange for a cut of whatever we salvage on this next job. Okay, you've got my attention. Inferno has a salvage facility in the Eaton system. They use it to overhaul and refurbish mechs they've taken in battle. By hitting that salvage facility, we can deliver another blow to their operations and pick up some heavy metal in the process. What do you think? What the hell are we waiting for? You read my mind, Commander. Coordinates are already locked in. You get us there, and I'll go ahead and prepare the mission brief. Copy that. All right, so now we got a couple of options. Yep, Black Harvest. But first, first we go here so that we could repair. And then we'll do that other mini campaign that's over there. We're not going to do that today, though. We're just going to repair and then we'll raid out. And I will table this for a little while. Probably later on this week. So I'm thinking, I'm finally feeling... Ooh, rare gauze? Sure, just in case I lose that gauze rifle, that'll be worth it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll take that assault claymore. Why the fuck? <laughs> I don't see anything else of real value. Wow, we already own a lot of gauze. Actually. That's nice. Cool. Very cool. Okay. Battle mix. Yep. Repair all. Good. I had some RSMS, uh, SRM Artemis ammo already in there. Ooh, and I already still had a tier three SRM six plus Artemis. So I am. This mech is made whole again. Sweet. It'll only take 30, uh, 20, basically 30 days. Oh, we did have to repair the gauze. It took a critical hit. <laughs> oh, man. We got really lucky. We got real lucky. All right, so let's repair you. We'll repair you. You can go into cold storage. I don't need you. I definitely don't need the stand. Yeah, the AC-5 is on the standard Marauder. We have the energy-based variant with the large laser instead of the AC-5. So this one overheats a little bit easier than this one does because that large laser also generates heat on top of the PPCs. But still, it's not worth it to repair this. We'll just put this over here. 
and we'll call that a day. Mech market, I don't see anything here that we really need. We could buy a Victor if we really wanted to. Well, we already went through all that. So we're good to go here. Let's, let's save. I think at this point we can do a new save. And we will exit and let's see who we're going to raid out to. It's probably going to be Freakbot. But let's see what he's doing and what Darkstar is doing. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll raid out to Darkstar. We'll see. We'll see. We'll let the games they're playing decide for us. In the meantime, uh, as I set up this raid, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, the today, today rather. I hope everybody's weekend is going well. I had a lot of fun today. We did, we did really well. We went through the entire Le Kestrel Lancers DLC. We did, uh, I feel like we did a decent job. And thanks to all that money we earned on that campaign, we were able to go deep into Steiner Space and buy a much better Highlander mech. Why does, why on earth does Twitch say my bitrate is unstable? Uh, you know, that, that always worries me. But I guess I'll check it out and see. But, um, you know, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do a couple of tests. Everything looked okay on your end though, right, Ghosty, all day? While I set up this raid? I assume everything looked all right. Let's take a look. Let's see who uh, it is. Uh, yep, Darkstar is streaming Shining Force 3. Oh, Deadpool's on doing Sea of Thieves. I don't see. Oh, uh, Freakbot's playing Devil May Cry. There we go. Yeah, Devil May Cry. Hell yeah, let's do that. All right, gang. Let's get this party started. I will be playing East tomorrow and uh, East 6, rather. I'm really looking forward to that. And other than that, I want to wish everybody a fantastic weekend. And thanks for coming out. And I'll talk to you guys approximately later. Let's go say hi to Freakbot and cause some chaos over there while Seraph goes and gets some, uh, goes and gets some dinner. Until next time, ciao!